Howdy there, everybody. Uh, hello, biscuits. <laughs> I've already forgotten everything. <laughs> Great. We're stuff. playing Extinction Curse, you know, Pathfinder 2E, some of that classic good stuff. Uh, we're sponsored by Roll the Roll. That's the way we roll. We roll the roll. <laughs> sponsored by Roll 20. That's the way we roll. <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible with this. I've already screwed it up. I'm Marshy. Uh, You're fired. I'll be, I'll be the GM for this session. Wait. You're fired. Shoot, I'm not the GM. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Uh, wow! Wow! Well, look, you made Cody mad. Uh, hello, nice biscuits. to meet you all. <laughs> <laughs> this is James with Roll the Roll, and we are live with Extinction Curse Session One. The show must go on. As Marshy tried to say, we are sponsored by Roll20.net. <laughs> I said it. That's how we roll. Uh, you guys are the biscuits, and we're the oven. Ah, How's that? I okay. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> so um, I see Lyra did five points of damage to the darkness. <clears throat> um, and that's it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see now. Just <laughs> Goodbye. All right. So who remembers where we were? Just raise your hand Ooh. if you remember where we were last time. <laughs> I remember where I am. <laughs> uh, circus, I imagine. Well, where are you at, Muck? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm between a... Bear in a hard place, I think. <laughs> mm, bear in a hard place. Wow. We were we were investigating the trailer of a bear of the circus of our circus. That is not my bear, and he has been grumpy since his uh, since his buddy master, uh, the great Fortunato, mm -hmm. uh, was uh, was lost. Uh, killed and uh, we went to see what was going on because uh, we found his master's cape and hat in the circus master's uh, wagon and so we were going to see what was going on I, I kind of knocked to uh, let him know we were there and then I, I kind of peeked in to see if he was doing okay and he charged the door and uh, I think uh, I'm going to get knocked over hmm Mm, yeah. Bear's name is Bardolf, I believe. Yes, Bardolf. Yeah. It's we wrote it's it written on the, on the wagon. They can't see the wagon though. There, the biscuits cannot see the uh, map currently. The oven. Yeah, we're just going to call the map the oven from here on out. I, I guess. Oh, yeah, this is Marshy's idea. So if it's really bad and cringe, uh, blame him. <laughs> Wait, who? You, huh? you, sir. Oh, I didn't know. All right, so. <clears throat> So to build the scene, uh, we started with uh, a group of uh, mm, circus performers, and um, they found out that their ringmaster was dead, like right there, right at the beginning of the show. And they, they had to put the show on without any direction and without any knowledge of what the ringmaster even wanted. And after a critically successful show, they began to investigate the murder. Uh, they didn't get very far, but they did learn a few few key pieces of information. Uh, they learned that the ringmaster had died from uh, a an amazing amount of poisonous snake bites, and they found a ton of tracks and clues that indicated that there was a a massive amount of rats uh, or mice, uh, some type of vermin, all around the area. Uh, this included the ringmaster's wagon where they found a trap obviously planted there, excuse the pun, <laughs> uh, for anyone investigating. Uh, then they went to investigate another one of the wagons, which is Bardolph's wagon. The uh, Yes, uh, the, the biggest <laughs> rat was named Mickey Cody. Um, Mickey. And uh, when they went to open Bardolph's wagon... Uh, the glazed look in the top hat wearing bear jumped out to attack Muck, and we're gonna we're gonna straight up roll for initiative because. Can I just clarify? Does does the bear usually wear a top hat, or is that unusual for us? Uh, the bear usually wears a top hat. Yes. Okay. Cool. It's <laughs> actually a birth defect. It's kind of rude that you'd bring it up like that. But yeah. We'll just, just we'll just. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Dive. All right, where are we at? There we go. Hey, that's not oh, bad. Hey, nope. <laughs> didn't oh, click my. on my character first, did I? What the Sorry. heck? No, you didn't. I'll get there oh. in the end. Well, for some go. reason, mine rolled stealth. There we go. How badly was that? Oh, that was a natural one. That bodes well for tonight. Just playing with. I think it'll be fine. It back. It's better to have it there. So. Than anywhere else. That's true. Yeah. Players don't have wisdom. He can't be good at this. Bad mm. initiative. My initiative should actually be a bit higher. But... Damn, it's got a good initiative. Shh, Nikes. Yeah, 12 is real good. I mean, apparently. <laughs> oh, good. I actually beat it on initiative, so I see it running at me. Oh, oh we have. It rolled a two, thing. guys. It's so cute. Uh, it's. Better and than my I, initiative. And I did promise that uh, I would show this to people. So let me let me fix the size of this here so everybody can see the uh, bear with the top hat. It's a good picture. Uh, and then there's just the lone fell deer. On top of it. There oh, it no, is. It's Look, it's no, even, it's, even a, it's attacking a dwarf in this picture. Oh, I'm close. I'm half half work. <laughs> <laughs> like how my token's just on top of it, so it looks. Yeah, I think that's just for each <clears throat> yeah, individual one, person. One of my tokens is on top of it; the other is behind it. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. There's the bear wearing the top hat everyone wanted to see. Um, Are you all happy to see that? Yes. Thank I you. mean, yeah. So I'm surprised. <laughs> it's I don't a great know the... picture. I don't know that I'm so happy to be in that situation. I don't know who the dwarf <laughs> is, but... Ask. <clears throat> all right. So let us see what happens. Oh, I got to rearrange him because it looks like Muck changed his initiative on me. Yeah, oh. I, was, I was playing with my sheet and changed it to stealth. And I did all right. apply the appropriate modifier. All right, so Lyra, uh, the door gets opened, and then the door bangs open, and the bear is definitely going to maul Muck. What do you do? Um, I'm going to immediately try to grapple the bear. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. All right, that Again, is an my athletics. My character does not have high wisdom. <laughs> Can you grapple yeah. something bigger than you? Uh, one size, yes. Yes. Okay. Go okay. ahead, roll uh, me that grap or that athletics check versus its grapple DC. Yeah. Zero strength, lads. Let's go. Hey, zero strength. That's fine. That means you've got. No, no, one strength. One strength. We're all good. We're all good. Um... Oh, that's great. It's a good mm -hmm. start. Good that is start. um. That is a great start. Um. So you definitely uh, grapple the bear. You uh, shoot it into the ropes. It runs back to you. You give it the old big boot. Drop the leg. Drop. Pin mm -hmm. it. Win WrestleMania three. Hey, we did it. Combat over, guys. <laughs> Okay, and now what really happens while I'm getting my dice out, um, so that I can kill you all better. Wait. There we go. Hold dice. On. Yeah, that's that's how it works. <laughs> that is a critical failure, uh, obviously. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's Ooh. really bad. Does that knock me prone? <laughs> well, let's find out what a critical failure on a skill action grapple is. Now, there might not be a critical failure. There might not. Oh. I might be all right. What? Oh. Uh, oh. Yes, you do indeed fall prone. Oh. Yeah. Cool. So I, I just completely dive at the bear and miss it horrifically and land on the floor. It just kind of uh, like, with one oh, swipe of its huge paw, <laughs> it just slams you to the ground. You still have two actions left, though. Um, can I use one action to stand up? <laughs> and can I attempt a sense motive? Uh, you can attempt can work a... out what's going on. You can attempt a perception check, a seek, yes, yeah. absolutely. Let's see if I can work out what's going on with this bear. Now, why did you knock me over? Hum. <laughs> <laughs> He's Is not usually like this. Yeah. <laughs> um... Is there a rumbly in your tumbly, good bear? Ah, is that what it is? Oh, I'm pressing perceive. Oh, oh you pressed cool. it like sorry, 30 sorry. times. Yeah, it wasn't coming up for me first, so the first one is obviously, yeah. 
So if we add uh, them I'm all together, up again with great roll. Divide by three, we get a six. Um, <laughs> we'll go with a nine. We don't get a six. Yeah. That's bad math, guys. Don't don't believe me. Uh, a nine does not tell you anything remotely good about the bear. Yeah, I'm yeah. still a little bit. Does it tell you anything over. remotely bad about the bear? No. <laughs> It's got brown fur. Ah, I see. <laughs> it's actually more of a black fur. Oh, uh, okay. That makes sense. Uh, uh, that bear Muck, would be a bit this, dangerous. This bear is uh, barreling down upon you. It's yeah, I think, uh, I think I want to get out of its way. Um, <laughs> before before I do that, though, I want to... Uh, before I get out of its way, I think I want to try and uh trap it a little bit mm. um i've got a spell a cantrip of tanglefoot i think uh if i'm lucky uh i might be able to just keep him from you know doing what he's trying to do um i cast a spell and some vines come out from through the wagon and try to grapple him and uh, lashing on to him and hopefully stopping him or slowing him down. Let's see. You rolled a 20? <clears throat> For the attack check. Let's see. That is a success. Okay. Uh, the target is uh, kind of like they lash around its back legs. They kind of like creep up through the cracks of the wagon and, and kind of entangle it a little. Um, you and are pretty I'm... sure the spell was successful. And that was two actions. And then I'm going to just kind of dive out of the way with a with a uh, step. Hopefully that gets me out of the way without incurring any penalties. Alright. Alright, well it is the bear's turn now. Oh dear. All right. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Minus ten feet to its movement. Let's see what its movement is. Oh, it can move pretty good. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it probably doesn't even care. I so it though. it squeezes through some squares here as a stride to end up here. <clears throat> And that's a lot of uh, we riot. Um, do any of you have any type of uh, reactions versus movement? Not versus movement. No, I'm not here. I don't think. Not All right, this guy. I don't All even right. know if I have any. Not yet. Uh, it is going to attempt to call you. Hmm. 17 armor class. That will, that will just hit. All right. Ooh, I assumed I it was attempt... attacking me. Uh, yes, sir. Can I use my liberating step? Okay. And what does so, the liberating step do? <clears throat> you, you're going to gain resistance 3 to the damage or reduce the damage um, by 3. Well, that'll um, be good. Uh, you can also step as a free action if you'd like. Again. Certainly good. Is that uh, is that before the attack happens or as the attack's happening? Basically? I think after the attack happens. Okay, the so. Okay. But the, so the resistance me. applies to the damage. Okay. Uh, the damage will be 13. <clears throat> so Reduce 10. Yep. Thanks. And then I will take the free step to at least not be in his arms. And normally, it would have grabbed you as part of that, I, but the liberating step pulled you out of its reach, and it can't thank, get a hold on you. Thank goodness. Lucky. But it goes ahead and steps up next to you as its final action. We're going to play <clears throat> Ring Around the Wagon. Uh, we're, we're doing something. <laughs> <laughs> so it seems to be focusing in on you. <clears throat> I, I was the first face it saw. <laughs> Fail deer. Uh, I guess 
I will walk up to it. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, Don't hurt it. Oh, that's not my intention, of course. Uh, Fireball. <laughs> I don't know if I want to try the grappling thing, because it's not like I do a great job at it. The bear's like, please, try and grapple me. It'll work out yeah, well for you. It's a whole-ass bear. I, didn't, I <laughs> doubt it would be a good idea. It's like, no, um, you got this. Come at me. You already watched Lyra fail massively. <laughs> yeah, but Lyra's built like a wet paper towel. That is, yeah. In comparison <laughs> to the monk. I'm a little bit more sturdy, but it's still not exactly the greatest idea. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, you never know. Now, I didn't set Flurry of Blows up, and that's what's making me upset. All you have to do <laughs> is roll attack twice. It's Flurry of Blows. I know, but it doesn't have the uh, penalty involved at all, but... Anyway, yes. I'll, I'll just roll the t attack toys and then you can yell at me later. Uh, so I'll do Furry of Lows, but um, non-lethal damage. Okay. Boop, boop. Oh. Mm. And they both miss, don't they? Uh, yes, yes, sir, they do. Wow, that's pathetic. Yep, the bear is uh, quite massive. You just pet the bear. So that was one one move, one flourish. You got one action. Oh, uh, I do, I do, don't I? Mm -hmm. I th uh, I'm going to cast shield then. Wait, you have spells? I'm a bard. Remember? What a broke ass character are you? <laughs> I'm a half elf with ancient elf atavism. Oh, so you're cheating. <clears throat> so I'm cheating. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you, you filthy, dirty, disgusting cheater. <laughs> All right. How does it feel? <laughs> All right, Luca. All right. So here's no. what we're going to do. No, no, I'm Luca. Let me set let me set the scene up. This bear stormed out of its wagon and with murderous rage is going after Muck. Yes. Okay. And unfortunately, I don't have a picnic basket to give it, but I do have this lovely call of the grave. Oh my goodness, call of the grave. You fire are you going to fucking bring Okay. I was going to be like, are you uh -huh. going to bring up zombies this early into the adventure? <laughs> <laughs> now hold on. <laughs> I can't do that until at least level three. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to attempt to get him slowed a little bit. Probably don't critically succeed on the seven. Oh, that should be more than a 17, though. Yes, it definitely should. You don't have your bonus set up right. It no, it does not have the peers, though. I don't have the bonus set up right in the auto ability. That's weird. Well, let's take a small break here and see if we can figure out why. Um, do, do, do. Is it because it's not... Like, are you an arcane spellcaster? Is it? Yeah, I dragged it into the um, I dragged it onto the sheet from the compendium, so I assumed it would just work. I didn't. It check doesn't. It. it doesn't change what uh, whatever the default yeah. spell type is doesn't get changed. I right, well, to that problem it with would my be cleric. A twenty-four with my bonus. Be a twenty-four, 24 does hit. Uh, attack. No, 24 is not a crit. I'm trying to figure out where you... Where do you okay. set it as? It's on as an attack. We're trained in arcane. Yeah. Weird. I'll go through my spells and triple check to make sure that the others aren't like this. Because that would be... All right, well, 24 does indeed hit. It is a success, and a success says that it is sickened one. Yes, unfortunately, if it was a crit, it would also be slowed, but uh, simply just sickened. All right, sickened one. Oof, well, that's not good. I think yeah. sickened is bad. Uh, well, that is three actions for you, and we are back up to Olira. All right. As the so... bear begins to... <sighs> Kind of get nauseous a little there. <sighs> Sounds really disturbing. How far am I away from Muck? Um, There's a wagon between us. Yeah, you're... Was 10 feet. Yeah, I'm you're trying 15 to look out feet. Get you're actually you. 15 feet. Um, okay, cool. Can I move down 15 feet, though, with the wagon? Uh, No, because you have to either go around the yeah, wagon or around the bear and a different wagon. 
Uh, you could try and pass through with an acrobatics check. You're pretty. Uh... No, I'm. I'm gonna go round the wagon. Uh, which so one? Round. The top or the bottom wagon? A uh, bottle's wagon. Oh. Five. Around him. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. You can get next to him with a single stride. It looks like. Diagonal to him. Um, I'm gonna click my little heels together and cast Agile Feet so I can get a little bit further. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> what is the uh, action economy of Agile Feet? It increases my attack speed as one action and I can stride as part of it. Oh, wow. Okay. So what does that, uh, how much does that increase the speed? I think it's just plus five for now. Okay. Yeah, you can get there. But that lets me get around a bit more too much. And then I'm going to draw my dagger and shield. Is that two actions to do both of them? Uh, it would be if you didn't have the shield on your arm already. Um, I wouldn't have. I didn't expect Bardolf to attack us. Okay. Then you're done. So, yeah. Then you're done. Muck, as the bear bears down upon you. Oh, God. Is there is there any way I can tell if... What has got his eye, or what's why is he angry? Is there any way I can tell anything about that at all? Um, like, I mean, obviously he's coming after me, but is it because he's angry about something, or is it magically induced? Is there any way for me to sense motive determine that? All right, so there's there's two things going on. Um, so if you want to. It'll take you two actions to kind of put it together with successful rolls. Is that what you're attempting to do? Sure. Okay. So go ahead and roll me a nature. That's not so good. How about I uh, expend a... Oh, uh, yeah. You all have one hero point. Oh, uh, I have two. I got one back at the beginning that you probably didn't notice during the opening. So I'm going to go ahead and oh. spend one to re-roll that. Okay. Um. And I'm going to do one better. I'm, I'm not getting here. Well, at I'm least it's not there. a critical failure now. So you don't get, <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't get, you don't get busted information. Um, I don't get misguided. Wonderful. Now give me a perception check as well. <clears throat> All righty. Yeah, that's great. A, um, that's a horrible dice rolls. And 11, well, the DC was 10 for the perception. Um, All right. You kind of notice that he's, his attacks on you are uh are against the side of you not presenting this cloak not you, presenting the cloak yeah remember so, you held the cloak out yep. and was like here's this and then he's he's swiping at the other side of you like if it was in your right hand he's swiping at the left side if it's in your left he's swiping at the right side uh he seems to be uh infuriated I, by that he's infuriated by the fact that i'm holding the cloak that you don't know um, so if I free action to drop the cloak and then take a step, I mean, you could try that, whatever you want to do. I think I'll try that. Cause I, I really don't want to be close to him. Um, I kind of got a question when, uh, when I'm not giving Mishka any direction, does the bear just kind of sit there and do do do? Well, or does they... he do like, or does he have like one action or something? Uh, well, as you get higher level and get additional feats, he is going to get um, to the point to where he gets one action even when you don't command him. Okay. But uh, like, kind of like as right now, they if he doesn't get a command uh, within a minute, he'll start to meander and do what bears do, right? Sure. Um, he doesn't yeah, necessarily to want to kick. fight this much bigger than him bear. Oh, I don't want him to fight. That's um, why I haven't given him any commands, but... So he's he's kind of like just trying to stay low, keep out of the way. Sure. And so did you drop the cloak and step away? Is yep. that what we did? Okay. I, I dropped the cloak as a free action and then took my uh, step as a movement. Okay. It is the bear's turn. Uh, the bear is going to go ahead and step up. And it is going to take the uh, cloak. I don't want you. I don't want the cloak. I, I didn't hurt him. He's a rah, 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 rah. That's what he does. And he <laughs> uh, attempts to call you. 
Of course he does. My minus one helps, Monk. Your minus one does indeed help. Uh, so 22. Yeah, it doesn't help enough. Nope. Uh, liberating uh. step again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just can do this every round. <laughs> no, you won't be doing it every round. Because <laughs> I'm not going to be here next round. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So, uh, would be nine damage, becomes six. Well, that, that means I'm still on my feet. Oh, God. And then step? Yeah, I, I will step. Um, sadly, I, I'm going to be scared. I'm, I'm going to step behind Lyra. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so the bear follows you with its mm. other. Mm -hmm. And it actually is going to uh, stride to there. <clears throat> And that is its turn. Liberating Step has kept it from being able to get two attacks on you, though. There's that. Yeah. Uh, Feldir, this looks bad. Oh, well, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, this looks very bad. <laughs> so he seemed to be bothered by the movement of the cloak, but you dropped it, and it was still pissed was, at you, right? He was attacking I, the side that didn't have the cloak. He doesn't attack the cloak. Don't pick up the cloak. Don't pick up the cloak. I think we should. He won't attack the cloak. Yes, I, be, I do believe that the, if I take up the cloak, maybe it won't come for you. Yeah, it might come after whoever grabbed it. <laughs> yeah, bull's uh, red cape. That's what I'm thinking. So what is the action of picking up something? It's just an action. It's an interact. interact. Should be a manipulate. Uh, yeah, inter manipulate, interact. Interact, okay, so, manipulate, yeah. Uh, move... And through the move action, pick it up. I can do that, right? Mm -hmm. Just two actions? Yep. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to bring it over here. Uh, and then Flurry blows again. Boop. Boop. And Ooh. they probably both miss. Oh, they no. do indeed both miss. All right. Well, I have the cloak. <laughs> we haven't landed a single hit on this I bed. don't know why I'm doing rolling so <laughs> terribly. Yeah, it's wow, a four and a twelve. Man, I don't know what you guys are going to do. Like, this is not good. Luca, hopefully you've got something in mind. Uh, yes. Yes, I do have some things in mind. Uh, uh, -huh. uh We're just going to uh, do a two-action spell of a lovely chill touch cantrip. Is that not... That has a range of... You need to be touching them. Yep, range of touch. You got any next to I it will for that. spend one action to give it a range of 30 feet. Sorry, I should have said oh, that. Oh, yeah. you have reach? Nice. <clears throat> oh, but it's 35 feet away. Oh. <laughs> so, what we will do is instead of the chill touch, we'll do the electrical arc. What's the range on that one? I think it's also 30 feet. Yes, but I can move into range and do that. Okay. Yeah. Or else I can just uh, actually, I can use my reach spell to give it another 10 feet. And hit it still. So yeah, I'll okay. use one. So action. do you want to move or do you want to extend the reach? I'll do one action to reach spell, two actions to uh, brain, electrical arc. Mm, and that is a reflex. Yep, DC seventeen. Uh, so it succeeded. So I guess it takes half damage. Uh, no, I think the cantrips are just save or suck. Yeah. No, 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 they're not. Oh. It'll, it just doesn't. It's say a basic. It's, it's a, basic, it's a save. basic save. If he got a crit success, then it would take, take no none. damage. But... No. Then yeah, it'd just be half and three points of shocking. Yeah, uh, you don't. I mean, the color, the aura did not change around it. So, uh, but who knows how good that was? Down bear, <laughs> stay away. Shock, shock. Uh, Lyra. Okay, I'm going to attempt to attack it uh, with the butt of my dagger, so with my dagger, but non-lethally. So you're going to take um, a minus two to make it non-lethal? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because uh, I know Muk wouldn't want us to uh, kill the bear. No, I don't want it to die. So she's going to make sure not to, so... Even if it ends up killing me. <laughs> so that, but minus two. Well, an 11 is not going to do it. God damn. Yeah, right. this is bad. <laughs> Level one! <laughs> Great. Um, uh, can I attempt a nature check or anything? Sure. What do you What do you want to know? Uh, I want to know if this is naturally um, behavior from the bear, or if it's something influencing the bear. 
Sure, you can make a nature check. Yeah, cool. With my zero modifier. Mm-hmm. Let's go, lads. Great! <laughs> Well, it certainly hey, seems like it is a bear. I've rolled hey, a 10 again. Lyra. Yeah. The bear's gonna bear. <laughs> I'm like, it's a bear! It's a bear! And then I'm gonna raise my shield. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna defend myself, even though all it does is attack you, Muck. That's fine. <laughs> hey, I've been using my reactions. <laughs> Alright, Muck, you're up. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Muck is going to... Step on uh, Step and dive under the wagon. Is that something I can do with the movement? <laughs> uh, you sure can. Uh, you would be uh, squeezing takes quite some time. I mean, uh, can I get to the other side of the wagon by crawling underneath of it? I know crawl is like a five foot movement. Yeah, sure. You've got enough movement to do that. That's fine. I, I, I could crawl to there. Oh, you could actually hopefully... make it one more square if you wanted. I don't know if I want to be outside of the... Maybe, yeah, I kind of want to be outside the wagon. No. <laughs> Just run. I'm running away, <laughs> but I'm running under the wagon, so hopefully the bear doesn't think to run around the wagon. Um, <laughs> hopefully it just concentrates on the... On the, yeah, I'll, uh, on the, I'll take the hits. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, how many actions was that in total? Uh, we'll say two. Two, so I've got one action remaining... Um, I don't know if I really want to spin the spell. I don't think there's many spells you can cast with one action. Uh, heal. Oh, heal. Yeah. But I'm thinking. I'm wondering if I did. I use uh, yeah, that yeah. last time. Have I used that? I, used uh, I don't think session? you did. No. Right. Rem I will remind you. I can battle medicine lay on hands you when I get back round to you. So. Uh, um. Let's see. In fact, I don't think I can lay on hands because I used it last time, so I think I'm currently out of focus spells, so ignore me. But I can match battle medicine. I, I think I am just going to do a one-action heal because it's touch and I can touch myself. So, Whoa, this is a family-friendly stream, sir. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, uh, so I, I heal two, two oh. damage. That's, that's awful. That's, that's better than one. Just awful. It's yeah, that's twice as good as one. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> A hundred percent better than one. Right. It's a hundred percent what I had. So, <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, you just doubled your uh, your staying power. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, um, it is now uh, Bardolph's turn. Come on, bear. Bardolph saw you go that way. What kind of? Let's see. I think Bardolph has a uh, scent, imprecise. Oh, he knows. He knows where you went. You're within 30 feet of him. Uh, oh, yeah. I went under the cart. I mean, of course I did. Ooh. Well, hold on. There we go. Yeah, man. I'm sure he can smell me crap in my shorts. Let's see here. <laughs> don't forget, he does have reduced movement. Mm, half half know that smells like chicken. How long does that spell last? Which one? Uh, Tanglefoot. Tanglefoot. That was one round. It's a cancel. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's okay. gone. <laughs> well, that is one but, try. But, but. <laughs> and he does indeed attempt to grab a you. Yeah. Is there a liberating step coming, or are they too far away? I was just, I was checking. Are they both within 15 feet of me? I don't think Muck is. No, he's 20. No, I can't. Oh, no. No help for you. Uh-oh, that's not good, though. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's yeah. a 20. That's a hit. Roll okay. ones. Minus one. Uh, it's, it's actually eight damage. Okay. Well, yeah, that takes me to zero. <clears throat> so, uh, Luca. Doing great, guys. Well, you all see this because the bear is quite uh, large. Uh, you see that it it slashes at him, grabs him with both paws, stands up above the wagon on its hind legs, and just kind of like body slams his uh, limp, lifeless body. No. And then he sits down and seems to be fine. Uh. <laughs> um, Bad play. Maybe I should have played dead sooner. <laughs> <laughs> and you are at dying one. All right. 
okay, can I run around? And are we still actually? Are we still in initiative? Um, while he is not, um, while he's dying, yes. Cool. <laughs> That's fine. It'll be okay. Uh, so, uh, Phil, dear, what would you like to do? Shit. Uh, Shit, okay, that's three actions. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Find a pot. I guess... <sighs> yeah, Bardolph is kind of like sitting there. He he reaches up and rearranges his top hat. And he's like, like, I guess my biggest concern is I want to make sure that he doesn't attack uh, Muck as soon as we bring Muck back up. Who has stabilized? So like... Me. <laughs> 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 I can't... <laughs> Ow. Uh, so yeah, what would it be? Perception check to see if like I could understand what it would do. I don't have a good perception, but Who I knows? mean that might have been the act. <laughs> what about what about circus lore? Do you have that? Circus lore. I have clown lore. Sure, give me clown lore. All right, it's also a three. <laughs> okay, well you know you could get lucky. A twelve. Mm. You don't know, man. All, All right. you know is is that uh, uh, kind of like in a rodeo, you know, if, if a bear goes berserk, it's kind of your job to go out there and try and get its attention, you know what I mean, and stay away from it, right? Yeah. You know, kind of draw it away from whoever it's trying to maul to death. You you failed to be a circus clown today, but tomorrow oh. is another chance. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let's not come from me now. He was attacked by a bear. <laughs> yeah, uh, and it's, as, as a clown, it's your job to, to save him. Yeah, yeah, you failed. Thank you for the hero point. Oh, did somebody get a hero point? Yes, I did. For hours. Um, for all my terrible rolls. <laughs> See if I can get above a 10. I'm going to drop the cape and come over here. So that's two actions right now. And I guess, like. Deception to get the bear to look my way instead. Sure. All right. Well, how good was that? Oh, that's well, at least bad. someone can roll. <laughs> Debatable. Yeah, the bear looks. The bear <laughs> looks at you. What? What are you trying to deceive it? By? Uh, what, I'm what just. Are you... I, I'm trying to get it away from Muck. Oh, okay. Oh, you're calling it so, to you. You're like here, Bardolph. Uh, come over here, Bardolph. Okay. It's your old friend Fumbly. <laughs> Old friend Fumbly, huh? Oh, uh, Luca, what do you want to do? All right, so uh, action one, stride up to Muck. Okay. Um, action number two, grab Muck by the ankles. Okay. Action number three, begin to drag Muck away from the bear. All right, what is your strength mod? Probably not strong enough to do this, but it's what I think I should try. It is a zero. Mm, so ten. Yeah, you can move him half your speed. Great. So, so we'll, probably two squares. Yeah, we'll just get him around the corner here into that one. Okay. Yeah. I was like, all right, come along, Muck. Let's get you up. Uh, mm, this is far more effort than I thought I'd be exerting today. <laughs> Alira, what would you like to do? Um, I want to get round next to Muck, and I'm going to try and stabilize him. Okay. So... Should I just, is that just a medicine check? Uh, yes, it is. And I believe it's DC 15. <clears throat> All right. Well, I've got those hero points. So I need them. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, we got, we got a good roll. Did I spell <laughs> medicine right? I didn't. Did I spell right that time? I did. What did you get on your roll? I got a 19. A 19. Let's make sure that's not a 20, though. Mm -hmm. Stabilize. 15 plus its dying value, which Six. is a 1. one. So 16. Okay. So, so, so it looks like you're stabilized. Yep. So that gives me, what, that leaves me at wounded one now or something? Yes. So uh, you're still I don't... Conscious. I don't think so. I think you only go to wounded if you are are like just healed, right? I'm just different than magical, I guess. Then yeah, because like the magic kind of like knits wounds, kinda. 
She didn't cast Stabilize, though. If you're trying to stabilize, the creature loses the dying condition but remains unconscious. If you're trying to stop bleeding, the creature attempts a flat check to end the bleeding. Okay, so I... So I lose the dying condition. That's all it says. So, yep. done. I'm unconscious. Yep. Anytime you lose the dying condition, you become wounded one. Okay, well, then right. you're wounded one. So, yeah. Nice. Sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, if you haven't noticed, Alice is... Uh, your me, my my me <laughs> to you. Oh, yeah. Okay, but as weird I have as that sounds, successfully stabilized him. Oh, good. So that was two of her action because she also moved. Um, she's going to use her other action to then move here in order to try and impede it from attacking Muck again. Okay. Uh, Muck, what would you like to do? We're, we're, kind of, just... <laughs> we're, we're kind of out of initiative now since, uh, oh, you're unconscious, yeah. Uh, we are out <laughs> of uh, initiative because there's no uh, clear and present danger of anyone dying. Cool. Okay. And yeah. the bear's no longer attacking anybody, so. No, in fact, the bear kind of like it, it, it does end up going to uh, to fail deer and, and gives you a giant bear hug. Oh, oh well, a bit. But, but a friendly one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then it goes so, over and lays down on the uh, cape. Okay, so why did it attack Muck? That was that was weird, right? Like that wasn't just yes, best. I, that was... I, I want to make like a check about what I remember of his of Bar of Bardoff and Fortunato's shows, but I'm unconscious, so <laughs> <laughs> well, we're a bit scared to wake you up. <laughs> and, uh... I mean, can I? I can't have conscious thought. Can I have dreams? Sure. What do you want to <laughs> dream about? Uh, maybe, maybe I've seen this act before. Uh, no. Where, where you're, he... you're currently having dreams about Mishka growing up to be a gigantic bear and eating. Oh, him. I can't wait. Well, yeah. eating someone else, but <laughs> no, it's definitely <laughs> you. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. me. It's so nightmares. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So I guess. I'd like to go up and try and put my hand out to Bardolf slowly. Yeah, he, he he loves on you. Cool, I give him a little stroke. Then I go to... Gives you a high folk. five. Cool, I give him a high five. Dances a jig with Feldor. <laughs> Feldor. I Then I try and pick up the cloak. How does he react? Yeah, he's fine. He doesn't care. Okay. I have no idea. <laughs> All right, so I, would either one of you like to uh, smack Muck awake or shall I pour this potion down his throat? All I'm frightened about is if we wake him up, the bear attacks him again. I I don't believe that'll be a problem anymore. Uh, oh, I think Matt's home. Yes, Matt is definitely mm. home. Yeah. If, I, if I had to take a guess, I'd imagine that that was... Bardoff's trick, and we just weren't prepared for it. Hmm. Not perhaps. So you think he thought he was Fortunato who could take it, usually? Potentially, yes. <laughs> if the worst case scenario is Muck gets knocked unconscious again, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> Sorry, Muck's Mark. been unconscious before. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be all right, if well, that's what happens. Why don't we carry Muck away from the bear and then wake him up? Sure thing, sure thing. I, I guess I will do that. Yes, yes, yes. And Phil, you okay, uh, will I'll drag Muck straight. away from <laughs> wherever. Right. Bardolf kind of follows you around there, and when he sees Muck laying down, he, he looks again. He's like, huh! and then he starts nuzzling Muck with his nose. Yeah. I know. Oh. <laughs> yep. Nope. Oh. I'm glad he's upset that I'm dead. <laughs> Unconscious. At least he isn't trying to eat Muck. He's trying to get me up. Could I do a diplomacy check? Hear me out. I'm not good with diplomacy. Only but to be like, can. don't hurt him again. Don't hurt him again, you sure. cute little bear. Sure, right. roll it. <laughs> I don't know. I the do bear it. actually I looks upset that you thought it was going to hurt Muck. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, bear. I didn't bear's like, oh. Feelings. Like, I would never. <laughs> it'd be like, it, it, it's got the reaction as if you went up to Gandhi and were like, hey, don't punch that guy in the face. And Gandhi's like, what? 
huh? <laughs> he just me? Me? <laughs> Do you know who you're talking <laughs> to? <laughs> yeah, right, the bear's so... like, me? I'm a pacifist. <laughs> Is it still purple? No. Is it still purple? Nope. Feldir is very confused. But can, I, be like, can I attempt an arcana check? Sure. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, actually, as well. Perhaps yeah, someone sure. a bit more learned could figure this out. I actually have decent arcana, so... As do I. It's not bad. Nice. Oh, Unfortunately... It doesn't. It it doesn't appear like it is or has been under the effects of anything arcane. Hmm. So yeah, it was probably, if anything, just Bardoff's trick. It was glowing purple. Oh, that's right. It was glowing purple. I forgot about that part. <laughs> I mean, I don't Once know again. lots about bears, but in my experience, they don't glow purple. Once it again, was bewitched. It could be part of the. <laughs> Bryce would like to roll occultism. <clears throat> <laughs> That's great. Well, so so we can... I know I know that Bryce is hearing us delayed because he's not in the call. But when he can finally hear this reply from me for his uh, four, uh, you are you are convinced one hundred percent that Bardolph was controlled by some deep void dwelling entity that exists beyond space and time. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. And does he tell us this? <laughs> I have to convince us. <laughs> well, we'll, I mean, we'll see if he tells you. But yeah, it's some some it. entity that is that exists outside he of does. the realm of reality, but can affect reality, but exists and, and sees time as like a linear thing. It, it can see all of time all at once. Well, okay. I, I respect your opinion. Why does it actually, want the bear? <laughs> no, I'm gonna do. What is that? Occultism? Do I even have that? Laura that was yeah. occultism. Yeah. You should your boss. <laughs> no, ju just to like see if I tr like believe him or not. Okay. <laughs> it's definitely very <laughs> possible. Hey, I can't rule out that. <laughs> yeah, you... uh, I can't rule that out, but I I believe we have to keep moving forward if that's what we're worried about. All right. Well. And uh, biscuits. I'm going to uh, take a couple minute break here because I'm going to pull Matt into the call and rearrange cameras. And I'm going to uh, do that in a be right back screen because I don't want to ruin the magic that is streaming. <laughs> so we will return in just a minute or two.
And we're back, and I think everybody's in the right spot. Uh, so, uh, Matt, welcome to the game. Hi, it's good to be here. Sorry about my tardiness. But so I what know. happened, Matt, is uh, uh, Muck opened the uh, wagon, and Bardolph literally chased him around the wagon until he was uh, unconscious. And then Bardolph seems to be fine. Interesting. And then you uh, figured out that uh, some unknown, unrelatable alien entity from the void of time and space had somehow entered the bear and took control of it through its dreams and aspirations of life and, and attacked this poor druid muck until he was dead and then decided it was no longer interested because who can understand those occultic uh, alien space things? I knew we were secretly playing Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, assuming we pick Muck up at this point and heal him, someone, anyone? We were dragging him out the way before we healed him. So. I'm out of yeah. spell slot. Well, I, I also don't have medicine either. I have treat wounds. Uh, we have we so. have two potions and I have a elixir on me. <laughs> don't, don't waste um, potions when we can just um, treat wounds. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll or just... You... Um, even then, you just refocus and get your lay on hands back. Uh, I haven't refocused yet. I have a bit of thing that I need it to be nighttime to do. Oh, all of stuff. interesting. <laughs> no, no, no. You can refocus without it being I, nighttime. I can technically, but like character law wise, I'd prefer it to be nighttime. <laughs> mm. Right. So for now, I'm just going to attempt to treat wounds. Um, while they are taking that time to treat wounds, uh, Luca will refocus. And get his focus. <laughs> okay. So what I'm just did, gonna Medicine, you... refocus. Uh, uh, I uh, am going to use a hero point. I mean, that's the, not a critical failure. Uh, it's not a critical I mean, failure. We have so potions. <laughs> no, we but the treat wait, wounds we could just keep. not super expensive. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. The treat wounds we could just keep using whenever. That's the thing. Yeah, much. it just doesn't expend anything. Well, it takes about an I, hour. I understand that, but it takes, it takes 10 time. minutes. It takes 10 minutes. We're not in a rush. I keep going for an hour if I wanted to do more, but I can just do 10 minutes. Well, that is 2d8 healing to Muck. Yeah. I can roll it. You can roll it. Muck can roll it. Marcy can roll it. I don't care. Somebody roll 2d8. All right. Bet. <laughs> Who's rolling it? I'm rolling. Five. Right. You're at five hit points, Muck. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're if alive. Your, if I understood correctly, uh, Bardoff was following them around as they were dragging my body is that correct he, he's kind of meandering around man he's he was he's concerned kinda... about me yeah he was concerned yeah he Ooh. seems happy that you're moving but so muck wakes up groggily uh, and 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 don't, don't throw too much. looks don't looks throw at too bird much. off uh, so before we get into this let me ask during the 10 minutes that medicine and refocusing were happening was Feldir or bryce doing anything uh, I would have searched the uh, wagon. Okay. Yeah, I would have as well. Okay. Right. Uh, you do find some things. Wow, I finally got to get the book. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hmm. Uh, you see what appears to be a, uh, there's a claw hanging on the wall. And it's mm -hmm. uh, it's about the size of a full-grown bear. But it's, it's not just uh, fur. It's also got feathers. Wait, it's the uh, size of a full-grown bear claw. Mm -hmm. Okay, because that would have been it's a very a claw big claw. The size yeah, right. of a bear. Yeah. <laughs> right. okay. That's what I was giving you. Some yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, and that's like the only important thing we notice. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, could, what kind of check could I do to figure out what it is? I'm guessing nature or something. Yeah, you can do nature. Uh, can I do it with a zero? Sure. All right. There's Anyone can recall knowledge. It's just that I think if you're not trained, you can't score above a failure. Oh shit! Okay, just so, do the seven. Or if you want to give me the eighteen, some, some recall knowledge can only be done by trained. But I only meant to do the one roll. So if you want to take the seven, and hurt me. Oh yeah, you die. <gasps> Ow! 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 <laughs> you get you get rabies from the. Uh from the claw. Don't you just hate when that happens? Then All you right. start to foam at the mouth. 
It's okay. I built up another character. His name is uh, Beldir. He is also a half elf clown. He is a monk. he is a half <laughs> elf ancient also. elf bard monk. <laughs> bard monk, exactly. Yeah, he's but it, bard. It's his brother. Yeah, his twin <laughs> brother. <clears throat> it's his grandson. <laughs> Who is also ancient. <laughs> Who is also ancient. Because you're just cheating anyway, so why not? Of course. It's, yeah. What is it's this fun. game? Rules? Puff. Yeah. Looks like, looks like my family's leaving. Goodbye, family. Bye. Bye, familia. All right. No hestia. Now what would you like to do, Muck, now that everybody else is caught up? Well... As I, as I come to, I, I glance fearfully at Bardoff, but I notice that he is not angry. No, no, man. Um, he, he's pretty good. I approach him calmly Careful. Careful. and uh, see how he reacts to my presence. Bardoff, what's going on, buddy? I'm sure that Muck has been to and fed Bardoff many times before. Uh yeah. As one of, as one of the main animal wranglers at the at the at the circus. Yeah, man, he uh he just kind of like sits down. Looks like he's sad. He, he's sad that he, he almost the... killed you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> does he still have the cloak with him? No, he left it. Over. No, uh 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 Lyra has it. it. All right. Lyra so picked it up. Um, took it away from him. I, I whistle and call Mishka back from whatever mischief he's getting into. Um, huh. Mishka comes running from the river with like a probably, fish in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and uh, thinking back on the event and maybe examining Bardolf, is there any way I can try to attempt to uncover what happened? Sure. Or why he attacked. I mean, I failed so miserably before, but maybe that's just because it was in a moment of fear and yeah, whatnot. Can, now that things do are nature calm. or perception or any other knowledge check that you think would apply. I'll throw that nature check. You have bear there. lore. <laughs> I do have bear lore, actually. Wait, actually. Yeah, yeah I have bear lore. I mean, it's <laughs> it's part of the animal order of druids. I get animal lore. Of the animal, I my animal companion. Oh, cool! So he's bad lore. Pretty neat. But my nature is better because based lore just, ability just, modifier is based on intelligence. I just love every time he rolls something, I get a, a menu to watch him choose from. <laughs> <laughs> Can I detect oh. magic to see if the bear has been affected by any of that? I'm not sure if I did that last time. There is definitely magic. <clears throat> Uh, you don't know exactly what it is, but uh, omitting all the stuff you already know about, there is definitely something magical going on. Can I cast Read Aura to determine what... What do you want to cast Read Aura on? The bear. Uh, you don't find anything out about the bear doing that. Uh, a nature okay. of 25, um, you, you almost feel like the bear was convinced in some primal way mm -hmm. that um that it needed to you know be aggressive for something it's because of that void monster what? well yes, it must have been. What? well no 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 without rolling both both uh bryce and uh uh eldir did i say that right feldir uh, can mm. can explain to you that no 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 those those types of creatures don't do anything with nature magic primal magic no 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 it's it's definitely sure? <laughs> it's yeah it's definitely enigmatic occultic things it's, like mm. this was definitely primal uh what's it, was there anything inside his wagon uh, well oh, yeah, I was taking the sure. in fact there, there was a um a uh a, 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 a odd claw it had feathers on it if you'd like to take a look I suggest you do but. Well, uh, sure. My my old eyes are not good enough for it. <laughs> I'll look at this feathered bear claw. Yeah, man. Where a roll of nature? Oh, it's got to be better than that. <sighs> All right. I, I, oh, 13. I'm sure I've never seen an owl bear before. Oh, we can't call him that, can we? That's 
That's copyrighted, isn't it? No, nope, it is not. No, <laughs> that one isn't. That one isn't. Some are. I would say. But in yeah. game, we don't know what it is. Mind yeah. Flayer, Beholder, Gif. Blink Dog. Is Blink Dog one? Yeah, so is Displacer Beast. Yeah, I think it's... that's the one I was really thinking of. This, this is a very, very odd claw. Uh, uh, I've never seen anything like this before. I mean, those they feathers, was... I mean, you know, it, it's definitely covered in, like, grizzly bear fur. Yeah. And it's grizzly bear claws. Uh, but the bone structure seems to be, like, different in some way. And the feathers look like owl feathers. Is there any, is there any lingering magic? I mean, you cast detect Muck, magic? No, Muck does not have detect magic prepared. That's not useful in treating animals. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll cast. You'll cast Reed Aura on the claw? Yeah, on the claw. Uh, yes, it is something called an owlbear claw. Yeah. Oh, uh, let the guys... party be aware of that. Well, hey guys, you're... you are... Sorry, go ahead. You're aware of the fact that it's a magical item called an owlbear claw. Whether or not it's actually an owlbear's claw, none of you know. It could just be something that was made. Do we know what an owlbear claw does? Uh, sure he does. Um, uh, the trigger, it's a, it's a talisman. You attach it to a weapon. Um... The trigger is you critically succeed on an attack roll with that weapon. As a free action, then, uh, you can uh, gain that weapon's critical specialization effect for that attack. Nice. Cool. So for, like, swords, I know that that makes them flat-footed until the start of your next turn, for example. Mm. Uh, I believe good. axes let you make uh, another attack at an adjacent creature with the same bonuses as that attack. You can find all the critical specializations in the core rule book in the equipment section. I'll, uh, I'll announce the party. So this is a talisman of sort. If you affix it to one of your weapons, it will produce an additional effect if you strike a weak spot. It seems rather large to just put on a weapon. <laughs> yep. Maybe oh. it has to be a very big weapon. <laughs> Perhaps. The yep. bigger, the better. I don't want to have like a warhammer. <laughs> well, if anyone would like me to affix it to their weapon, I am able to do so. If I, think, I had a weapon. <laughs> I think Muck will look around the wagon now, uh, try and perceive anything, seek for anything that might have been missed by the others while he was unconscious. Yeah, man. Go right ahead and roll me a perception. Trust us. <laughs> Doesn't know you searched. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> uh, 18, you you notice the pitter pattering of lots of rat tracks. There's there's more rat tracks here. What? Where are all the rats that are making these tracks? That's Is that a big question. one here again? Uh, I, he didn't find it. I don't, I don't see the big ones, Prince. But they may it may have been covered up by the little ones. That's fair. Hmm. I don't so what appears to be the solution, the situation we have? Uh, there's rats that have both gotten snakes to poison a ringleader, rats that have eaten the net, and rats that have upset the bear. Is this the way we have a rat problem? Do I in any way think the rats could have planted, planted the trap at the circus master's uh, wagon, or is that just like way beyond any comprehension like that? I mean, that 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 depends. I mean, maybe the bigger one had opposable thumbs or something. Maybe they're all awakened. The only thing is, I think the trap at the his wagon was probably his. As circus people, we can never be too careful. Yes. Do we recall ever having dealt with the circus master at his wagon? Yeah, I mean, you've had to go in there to get your pay and things, yeah. But when he's in there and expecting us, he probably has it turned off. Yeah. Right. So but even so, those are like, those are spores and everything like that. Like, those are weird traps to have as a, like, home de defense. 
seems, well, seems right. more like something a druid would do to me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like Maybe out, out of character, help. it is almost 100% a druid that turns into rats and is causing <laughs> problems here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In character, we're not that smart. No, no <laughs> apparently not. <laughs> Well, I guess we should probably get Bardolph back in his wagon oh, and yes. uh, keep looking around. So Muck tries to... So, uh, so when you to... say the words Bardolph and wagon, he kind of goes, goes to the wagon, goes in, <laughs> shuts his and, own door. Uh, shuts his own door and hangs oh. out. Okay, <laughs> so what a what a good boy, Bardolph. I'm, I'm sorry we had to, to wrestle. I'm really sorry we had to wrestle. Uh, at some point, he actually goes to the water and cleans his claws off. Because when he notices that there's blood on his claws, he's like, oh! Where did this come from? Ew. Uh, he's not yeah. happy about that, yeah. He's so polite. That being said, mm. Muck, you seem to have the most luck when finding rat tracks. Perhaps we could track them in some way? You! You know where all the rat tracks are! You did it, didn't you? You're a druid! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to assume the, the tracks fade out. As they get further away from the wagon, is yeah, as before. eventual. Well, I mean, you can roll. Go ahead and roll. All right. What do you need? Uh, perception or survival? Uh, yes, survival. Perception, yes. I'll give it a try. Hey. <laughs> Not I with see. that. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. What did <laughs> you, you needed? Survival. Yeah, you yeah. can you can use survival to follow them or perception to attempt to find more. Well, let me see which might be better. Um... Probably the same. I am not trained in survival, so I will look. I will try to perceive more tracks. Okay. I do not. No. No. The well. eleven. You notice all kinds of foot traffic because this yeah, is a but, circus camp. Yeah, but not more rat tracks. <laughs> not what we're nope. looking for. <laughs> no. In fact, you you notice that the rat tracks at some points are covered up by the circus people's foot tracks. So it's you it's even see the unclear. big. Yeah, you even see like the 19 inch long tracks of like circus clown shoes. So, I mean. <laughs> so, the rats were definitely oh, sorry, here that was me before. No, the, that means the rats were definitely here before. Probably yeah. in right. the evening. Yes. So, that at least gives us here. some time frame. That's true. I wish yeah. there was a better way to figure out where these rats are coming from. Yep. And why well, rats a, out of all the animals that there are? That's question as well. You think and these rats were the same ones that chewed out the uh, the nets back in there? Quite likely. I would assume so at this point. At, we've had three separate rat tracks uh, sightings in large quantity. Now, unless there are multiple swarms of rats uh, going around, and if that is the case, we need to get out of this town immediately. Uh, but carpet of rats. <laughs> <laughs> we look down and there's just rats all over the ground. We're like, huh? Where are all these rats come from? <laughs> That's weird. Anyway. Uh so I don't know if, what other leads do we have at this point. What should we um, check next? I believe we should we could go to the professor and tell him that we seem to have a bit of a rat problem. Yes. A bit and more should be expected. He we might were be able to tell us a bit more about Bardolph as well. Sorry. Yes, we can yes, we discuss. But we were also asked to ensure that the rest of the camp was secured and currently true. only checked out the areas around the um, old master's wagon as well as this area. Uh, perhaps checking out other parts of it may prove fruitful for us. That is okay. a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> so we want to do a quick... Uh... Go yeah, around yeah. the uh, the camp and check yeah. that everything's safe. It, it looks so that like is what we asked you by the professor. It, yeah. it looks like the camp has a large copse of trees to the south, and some rocky terrain over on the southeast of the camp. Um, both likely spots for rats to hide or congregate. Maybe I don't know. I don't know if those are part of the adventure. I'm just looking at the map zoomed out so I can see what's around the the circus area. Yeah. It's just to make sure the camp's safe first. Can we do like a perception check or something as we're looking around the rest of the campsite? Sure. Oh. All right. I like that. Just a good old once over. Yeah. Hey, not bad. Yes. The rats are 
Lurance is especially just focused on um, whether everyone is there and okay. She's not yeah. necessarily. Yeah, looks good. So everything's pretty much cleared up. Looks, I guess just looks fine. So it uh, seems like think... it's not going to be a continued sabotage, possibly. There was the possibility a quick exists. I don't think we should rule it out just yet. That's yes, very true. I, I'd be very concerned about it. I, Perhaps I believe, we should. Sorry, go ahead. I believe we should go to the professor to explain the situations we've come across. I that think might there be. might be merit in in uh, investigating the other tents just to see what's going on in there at some point. I just I had a brief look in to check on people. Everything looks okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Quick. Sure. So yeah. What are you all exactly checking? Uh, I was, we were just... I was checking on the te- on the caravan specifically, to especially on the people in them. Just are yeah, you are you looking like... inside wagons, or are you just kind of like looking around the area? Because most of the yeah, people, yeah, I'm, I'm like knocking on the doors, in case anyone is there. Well, you know checking. that you know that unless somebody's specifically like going against what the professor said to do everyone should be in the tent waiting for you to give them the all clear. I get that but I also know that there is a high possibility someone would disobey and go and hide so she's just going to do a quick I okay. mean nobody answers any of them yeah so yeah yeah if we go and check around the areas around each of the carts just to ensure everything's yeah. safe yeah Muck, Muck would probably check the animal pens that we have okay. set up See if all the animals are accounted for. However, knowing what we've run into so far, I would suggest that we all stick together for now. Yes. Yes. yes for so let's start with the animal pens here, here. By Bardoff's cage. Yeah. I'm gonna move myself over here. So is there anything going on around there, Funky Fresh? You don't see anything. All right. Uh I say we cross the pond and check out this area and yeah. open up caravans or not car- wagons. Yeah. Yeah. Um, most of them are locked. Most of them are locked. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. I, I don't want to pick locks on each and every one of them. No, we shouldn't do that. But it's also like the ringmaster's wagon was locked and we broke it and, and shit was going on there so, so muck is you're moving past dead. as you're moving he past is dead, those so trees like... muck uh yeah. you oh the trees okay yeah you uh probably yeah right in there uh you guys are moving past uh muck you do see what appears to be and how you notice this is beyond any comprehension but i rolled an at 20 on your perception <laughs> so gone. Nice. So um there is a small observant. there is a small viper just kind of chilling. Oh yeah? Yeah. Hey little buddy, what do you know? Give me a second here. Was Hello, Mr. Viper. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> uh, and this is how Muck is. <laughs> This is when we roll for initiative. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. <clears throat> Am I still hit by that minus four to whatever, to all the wisdom checks and whatnot? Uh, yeah, because that right. thing lasts for four hours. How long has it been? Not four hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me see. I'm looking to see exactly. It's probably been like an hour. But, uh, yeah, hours. it's it's four it hours. An hour. It might have been an hour. <clears throat> it, it's it's pretty much going to probably be until you sleep. Yeah, that that's fair. Because I mean, uh, what are you trying to do? You make a diplomacy check if you're trying to use wild empathy here. Yeah, I just uh, you know I'm I'm approaching it calmly and slowly, um, and I'm trying to get an idea of of whether or not you know it's. Does it look like it's out of place? Um, I mean, we had the ones in the tent, in in the circus tent, and we had... uh, It is is the same type of viper as you chased off. Where are you from, buddy? Not the same type as Elysia has. 
sure there it's a local a local yep. viper um well uh, local local is a little little strong it's um it's one of the super colorful ones that looks like okay. that it uh, probably resides closer to saltwater so it looks out of place in this I mean, area. it being this far away, I mean, you're on an island, right? But you kind of are in the middle of the yeah. island a little bit. So, yeah, I mean, uh, it could have come up the river. Um, Shoo, little viper, go home. Go home, little viper. All right, roll me a diplomacy. Maybe we can follow it. Mm. I don't know. That's pretty low. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I want to fight him. I'll use my last hero point to reroll that. I I was fortunate to not have to use my hero point to stay alive, so <laughs> I, will, I will use that for a reroll. I'm happier with that. Better? Is it better? It's a well, 16. It is. It's Ooh. better. Whether or not it's better enough is... Yeah. Sorry. It's a 16. It is better. Probably not a crit Fif fail. <laughs> 15, is a, 15 is a standard DC at this level, right? Yeah, that's like the sort of trait. You would think... <laughs> you would um, think for a simple thing <laughs> the the thing is is that it uh it wants to strike ah uh, mm. yep <laughs> oh, initiative <laughs> yep uh, okay. good times good times they just hate when it's... why do we have to keep fighting animals stop fighting animals so that our druid doesn't this is stop for us the druid, literally <laughs> Hey man, he, he chose. Abuse. I I approached it. He <laughs> is the one that uh wanted to be a druid. <laughs> Not me. In a circus. <laughs> are, we, are we class shaming now? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, definitely, hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. Ugh, a dirty druid. They probably don't even shower. Ugh. He's a half orc. You know he doesn't shower. <laughs> hey, speak right. for yourself. All right. Well, he's Luca. a half orc that cleans up poop. All right. <laughs> Here, here's what here's what you're aware of, Luca. You see that he kind of is like, go on, shoo, little snakey, shoo, and the snake like strikes at him. Right? Like it's too far away to actually hit him from its position, but uh, it's definitely not going away. All right. Well, and it definitely matches the ones that you and him encountered in the big top. Ooh. All right, Muck, we gave these snakes this chance once. Honestly, now it's just, let's just cook these things. So one action to reach spell, uh, two actions to electrical arc. Oh, DC 17 here. Let's see. Yeah. Well, that's a nat one, so I guess it'll take 12 damage. Ooh. And... And... <laughs> and man, does he cook it. <laughs> Oh, but, but now we can't follow it to whoever was bringing them. Perhaps the tracks are still there, though. Follow his tracks. Snakes don't leave very identifiable tracks. Well, it is your turn, Muck. I'm gonna oh, see sure. if this. I'm gonna actually uh, uh, take a look. Uh, I want to perceive if there's any other threats, any other dangers that might be hiding. Okay, go ahead and roll um, more your perception. snakes, perhaps. Yeah. Um, just to make sure that we're not going to get ambushed. Because uh, that would be snakes. awful. <laughs> Absolutely awful. That's oh. a good perception. Wow, that is a good perception. <laughs> <laughs> That's much that better. <laughs> Let me see here. Okay. Well, I just realized all the viewers get to see my lovely macros going up on your screen, don't they? Uh, they do. Nice. They do. Uh, there you go, viewers. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm paying attention to a lot of weird things, but there's the uh, the map. Uh, you can see that they cooked a snake, but um, Muck was looking for additional threats, and he found some. Uh-oh. Nice. Great. Fantastic. I'd rather find them that way. <laughs> you see another viper there, and then... You see an even bigger snake there. Uh-oh. Mm. Zoinks. Zoinks. Ugh, All right, you have two time. actions left. Muck, what do you do? Uh, the bigger snake, is it... Uh, 
what does it uh, seem to be? What kind of snake? Is that a nature check to identify it or yeah. recall knowledge about that it? That would definitely be a recall yeah. knowledge, which is an action. Yeah, I don't recall anything. It's it's a big viper. Uh, I don't like the looks of that one. Um, they're all... Uh, I, I'm just going to... Uh, uh, Mish, Mishka, help! Uh, that basically means he gets between me and it. So he gets two actions if you command him. Yep. Yeah, yeah. He moves. He gets he gets between me and it. I don't want him to attack the snakes, but I don't want to get attacked by the snakes. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. It's a. It's actually two actions to ready, though, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So he will he will get between me and it. And that that's good enough for now. I don't actually want to attack the snakes either. All right. I, I figure the rest of the party will take care of it because I don't know that they're next. I mean, I, take care of <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what their initiative roles were. No. Lower than yours, and that's what matters. Right, oh. but but higher than everybody else's. But that's our problem. <laughs> well, no, because I'm closest to it. I took care of one for you. All yeah. right. <clears throat> so the big snake. The big snake is going to advance. And it is going to attack the bear. <gasps> well, it's the closest target. Snakes aren't Surprise, super, surprise. Yeah, they're yeah. not super, uh, super smart. Okay, so here we go. Snakes. We have a 19. Yeah, that's going to hit, I'm sure. Yeah, armor class 15 on Mishka. Uh, nine piercing damage. Liberating command. Is the snake within 15 feet? Where am I? Too far feet. away. Uh, nope, never mind. Yeah, you gotta get never up mind. in the fray to make that work. Yeah. Uh, then, uh, I need a... Oh, really? I it's need a, a fortitude crit. save. No, Miska. Ooh, not good. Ugh. Oh, well, that ain't so bad. It could, it could potentially uh, take two poison damage. But this That's so funny. All right. <clears throat> wow, that poison can last a while. Uh, then the the viper, uh, it seems to like coil itself up. That's oh, not good. No. Like it. It came up and it struck and then it coiled up, you know, kind of like as a warning. It's both a viper mm -hmm. and a python. Oh, I know. It's <laughs> coiling up itself, not the yeah. bear. <laughs> it, it's not grappling. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's preparing to spring. It is preparing to strike. And the little one. Oh, man. The little one goes. It beelines for Lyra. Oh. All right. All right, Lyra. Here we go. Okay, we're still good. Ooh. Mm. 19? Yep. Oh my god. I don't gosh. have a thing raised. Take one point of piercing damage and make a fortitude. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. No, no, I'm fine. Right. Fortitude. <laughs> uh... Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's not uh -huh. good. No. Uh, go ahead and take three points of poison damage. Let All me right. see if I can get these to work. Is there a is there a poison marker? Absolutely. Am I poisoned? I don't see one. Um, if you use the set condition. Yeah. Prone. Uh, it's, it, poisoned is. It should be under persistent damage. Ah. All right. Persistent damage. Poison. So, is talking a free action? Uh, yes. <clears throat> to to as an long extent. As reasonable. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ask uh, Lyra if I can move before her, since we tied an initiative. Uh, Go ahead. You guys decide who goes first. Can uh, I move tie. before you? Right. We move at the same. We're moving at the same. Can I go before <laughs> you? <laughs> go left. I go right. No, you go left. No. I go. No, that's 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 your right. I'm, we, we have different lefts. But you can absolutely go first. Why can't we just move at the same time? No, I want to move before you. Uh, then the snake is uh, going to strike at Muck. 
Uh. Oof. Spread that Ooh, poison around. Two targets. Yep, that is a uh, a six. A six that's armor a, class. That's a good miss. Are you sure? Yes. Close. Check your it's armor class. I want to make sure. <laughs> that's, that's a crit fail. <laughs> well, it's your armor class. <laughs> yeah, okay. Because it, uh, it doesn't mean much. But... All right. I'll allow I didn't know armor classes could go that low in this game. <laughs> uh, fell deer. I'm going to come over to here. Boop, 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 boop. It's 30 feet. Get so now point. it is in flanking. And I'm going to flurry of blows this little bugger. You have to, uh, give me just a second here. Let me go. Might have taken elf step. We Do we go. not all have 30 feet? I, oh, no, I don't. 25. 25. Well, even yeah. still, then that's just two actions. Okay. I'll let you go. <laughs> but the uh, second one probably hits. Minus five to that. So as you're moving into position, this oh, coiled snake oh, lunges out at you. Okay, bet. <laughs> that is a 20 armor class. Damn it. That was so close. No, that hits. You got to look out for those guys there, Marshy. So on the way in, you take eight damage. I need a fortitude save. Hey, damage. Yep. Yeah, if I can hit you big. It's big. Oh, oh, but you man. seem to be fine. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you use your flurry of blows if you want those rolls, or you can roll again. Your call. I'm good with the second hit hitting. Okay, is, that. does that already have the minus five into it? Uh, no, it does not. So that's not. really a 17. Do you want to reroll or do you want to keep those? It's versus a flat footed though. Yes, is that true? It is, yeah. So you're using uh, them? Uh, I'll I'll reuse it. Is this okay. using a hero <laughs> point, or are you just or are you just gonna let me do it? No, you're not using a hero point. Do you want to okay. reroll? Yeah, I'll reroll. Okay. Boop boop. Hacha cha. Nineteen, and then so an, the seventeen I, probably misses, but so a nineteen and a thirteen, I believe, right? Yeah. Well, the thirteen misses. Nineteen does indeed hit. So Good. eight. Uh, is that actually slashing damage? Because I don't think you yes. entered a stance. The, oh, I didn't know. Oh, so shit. So, <clears throat> so you should be rolling 1d6 then. Yeah. Damn it. Well, we'll just subtract one. It's not a big deal. Yeah. So seven. I know how averages work. Rude. Rude of me. Better than most people. <laughs> All right. Don't. And I got very upsetty spaghetti when... Someone tried telling me the average roll in a D6 was a 3. It's a 3.5, but I guess you round down. <laughs> um, after Feldir moved, cost him two actions and a flurry of blows, which is one we are up to. Who wants to go first? Lyra or Bryce? Bryce. Please. All right, Bryce, uh, you're up. First action, I'm going to burn a focus point uh, to lingering performance. The lingering composition, sorry. Okay. Uh, and then I need to make a performance check. Mm -hmm. This is, I think, some DC based on whatever you decide it to be. I think a 26 is good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's a success or a crit success. but DC is usually a standard difficulty DC of level equal to the highest level target of your composition. Uh, what is this composition targeting? All allies. All mm -hmm. allies. So Super allies deep. are level one. But I'm going to increase the DC by one because that assumes four players and not five. I think that's fair. So the DC would have been 16. So that is a critical success. Yeah. So my link. So I will now inspire courage. And, and it that will last, last for four, four, rounds, four rounds, assuming you don't start another performance or another. Correct. Yep. Okay. That count does the poison a bit, thank you. Uh, and then I will... Are there any loose, unattended objects within... Oh, plenty. All right, is there like an attack up macro? There is. There is a... Should be... Uh, what did we use? We used... Uh, no, I don't want him to be blind. We're, we're just trying to use these cool, ah. like, uh, things that we have. I purchased, a, I purchased a new set of markers, status markers for, for use, and mm -hmm. created a nifty little macro to apply them. How about this, the um, sword icon? I mean, I think that's the one. It's just I don't think that's in the macro. No, I don't. I, I think I only have uh, conditions in the macro. 
uh, from, the, uh, from the from the maybe attack up. There's an attack up one. There's a sword with a green up arrow. Yeah. Um, that's attack up. So I don't have that one. Put that. It's uh, right next to the blood drop. It's right. Underneath oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, a green the... arrow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see. yeah. Underneath the orange dot. Yep. There you go. Everybody, set the little what? up arrow on you if you're within what is it, thirty feet or sixty, 60. feet? Sixty, 60. feet. Rules, guys. Oh, that's everybody. Fun. Okay, that that's took... dependent. <laughs> and that takes two actions, correct? One to one. cast a spell a... and one to. It's use one the focus to. Spell? No, it's a free. Lingering composition is a free action. Inspire okay. Courage is one action, so I just have two left to cast uh, Telekinetic Projectile at the snake attacking Laranza. Okay. So I will do that. Mm, yeah, you will. Get it! Get it! Man, plus one to hit and damage? Man, that's huge. Yep. Ooh, a 13. I don't that know. probably didn't matter. I don't know about the 13. Did you already add in the plus one? I added in everything, yes. Yeah, 13's not going to do it. Darn. 13 is it. not going to do it. This is a rock sales <clears throat> Uh Lyra, uh, the first thing that we are going to do is, is you are at... You are poisoned. Yes. So on your turn, you take. Do you not take persistent damage at the end of your turn? Nope. You take persistent That's damage the at the front, and then you make the uh, check for it. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, you the take flat a. Saves at the end. Yep. You take a big five damage. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot. And yeah, go ahead and go make down. me a fortitude save then. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not persistent damage. Remember this is a yeah, fortune it's damage. Oh, right. sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That is uh, good so enough. Big... You go from stage one to stage zero, you are no longer poisoned. Sweet. Uh, I am down to was it five damage? So I'm down to six health. Yep, we are going to remove this poison. poison. Man, this takes you a hot minute. Boom. Did that work? <laughs> What's the other one yes. you got going on? Uh that's poisoned. Oh, is there a poisoned? Yeah, I did not see a poisoned. It was well, like green bubbles. The... <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's not in the it's markers. Not in the markers. I was. I just the... put it on because it looked okay. cute. <laughs> All right. All right. Now you got your three actions. What's up? So she gets a bit hurt, what shakes it off, more? and I. I'm going to assume because this time she was more alert to danger, she already had her sword, uh, dagger and shield out. Oh, uh, would you? Uh, it's up to you. Uh, you guys I'm were walking around this, investigating, yes, so it makes sense. the attack, yeah, yeah. She was a bit more alert, so she's going to try and strike uh, with her dagger on the snake. She's like, sorry, Muck, this is getting a bit dangerous. <laughs> oh, wow. They're, they're uh, not listening. Yes. Kill them. That's a 20 Defend 20 yourselves. That is, a, that is a nice, good hit. Oh, for I only did two damage, damage, though. Actually, no, I do three because it's three. also a plus one. From a uh, our good bard, so that's three um, damage. Three damage. If you go into options on your character sheet, you can customize your rolls to add bonuses to roll and damage. That is one action, Alira. You have two more. Um, I'm going to just attempt to attack it again. Okay, at a minus four. Yeah, that's gonna. That's not gonna work. No, twelve. So that... <clears throat> Did you add in the minuses already? Uh, no. no, and not the okay. pluses either. It all it all round out to nothing. <laughs> okay. And then I'm just gonna raise a shield. That's my last action. All right, raising the shield. Pick does that a lot in our Age of Ashes game. He's always got his shield up. So she just tries two quick strikes against the snake. All right, Luca, shield. you are up. Champion, allow me to aid you. I'm going to use three actions: one for reach spell, and then two for chill touch on the snake that's right there. Okay, that is a fortitude save, a DC of 17, I think. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is that is a natty 18 there. Mm. Let's see what his bonus is. I think I'm fortitude, sure. so it's, mm, it's not a critical. So half damage. What do we got? Three, three negative. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> oh, All right. Man, it's about as low as uh, all of you guys. It's <laughs> Oof. And that's me? Yep. And then we're up to Muck. Uh, the first thing I need from Muck is I'm going to need uh, damages coming through. 
Uh, one of you is poisoned by Mis the big snake. Which Miska one? Miska is poisoned. By the big snake? Yeah, Miska's poisoned. Miska. Are you also poisoned? I am not. I didn't get attacked. Miska got in the way. Well, you did get attacked, but he missed. I oh, got okay. attacked, but you didn't hit. Okay. All right. So the big snake, uh, go ahead and roll me a fortitude. It's four poison damage to Miska. Ooh, he, uh, is there a stage two? There is a stage two. Oh, boy. Uh, he's unconscious. <laughs> God damn it, Muck. <laughs> uh, oh, saves come first for today. poisons. I'm so sorry. Uh, so he takes four damage now because he goes to stage two. Okay, and, so he took four damage. And he has drained one. Drained so should one. I not have taken the other damage? You I'm should sorry. not have. Go ahead and add that okay. back. I got Sweet. that wrong. And I'm probably I'm so not going to die. It's okay. Let's see. Set status marker drained one. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my goodness. Now I gotta look up drained because I had no idea. But anyway, it's your go, Mike. Yeah. Um yeah, uh I'm going to uh c command Mishka to to retreat. Um so he will move back. And I'm going to interact. Uh, let's see. Mishka have... is probably down now that I'm looking at Drained. Yeah, he's he's probably unconscious. So he takes a... He's only got one hit point left. Takes a status penalty to constitution-based checks such as Fortitude. Loses hit points equal to your level times the Drained value. So one. And your maximum hit points are also reduced by the same amount. Okay, so yeah, he's he's at zero. So he is he is dying actually. <clears throat> dying one. <laughs> dying one. Oh. Um yeah, so so my actions are completely different. Um yep. first things first, Oof. I will They need some help, uh, viewers, man. If anybody's got some help for these poor guys. I feel like we already lost our used up all our hero point. <laughs> Allowing. Used up all our help. <laughs> um, so Muck's going to cast Stabilize on Mishka. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I don't think that helps with any of the poison, so he's just going to have to keep doing that. Yep, he'll have to make um, them con checks. And or then con check. I will draw out my dagger or grab my staff. Probably my staff. And two-hand whack the snake closest to me since I really can't move. Oh, let's see. I don't get any bonuses. Do you have reach? Oh, I do get a bonus one. Reach? No. I'm just whacking the one that's right here. Oh, the little one. Okay, okay. Oh, um, wow. That doesn't include the attack bonus, so it would be a 23. It includes Oof. the damage because I forgot to put the... So... It's 23 to hit, 10 damage, unless it crits. It does 11 not damage. Crit. But it's enough. Nice. Yeah, definitely, uh... That's huge, man. You might... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's good. <laughs> and that's everything for you? That's three actions. That was stabilize, draw, and attack. That has definitely helped. Is that... Like one of the, oh, with the other snake as well. It's so the first thing we've actually killed. <laughs> it's the first animal I've actually killed in in defense. <laughs> I do not feel it was against my against my uh, anathema or whatever. That's however you pronounce that. Yeah, you're allowed to defend yourself. Yeah. All right. Well, the giant snake is not coiled snake since died. it uncoiled when it attacked uh, the monk on the way in. So. Without moving, it can attack the monk, which it will do so. Okay. Uh, 19. God dang Navit. Yes. God dang Navit? Oh, is that a thing? God, God dang <laughs> make, me a, make me a, a fortitude save, because you... All right. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> Much wow. better. Yeah. Uh, you do take seven piercing, though. Oh, wow, that's rough. This is getting, this is getting dicey, guys. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Uh, uh, then yep. the snake is going to coil. All right. And then it's going to strike Muck with okay. minus with minuses as a second attack. Muck, man, I I pray for you, sir. Oh, I can take it. 
Oh, Druid's a good tank. Mm -hmm. That was a con Oh, Nat one. Good. Okay. Well, oof. Does that put it closer, or does it the coiling? Uh, just no, give the it reach? coiling gives it reach, and nice. uh, also it lets it uh, use a reaction to attack as well. Yeah, we saw that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it <laughs> Didn't we but after it? <laughs> it strikes, it uncoils. So. Right. So, so it is Feldir's turn. Uh, enter my stance. Okay. So and then we're gonna do flurry of blows. So okay. Wham, wham. Oh, that's nice crit. Oh, nice. Wow. Ah, oh, we love to see it. It's probably a crit. It's pr well, it's definitely a well, crit. Well, it's definitely a crit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so 20 damage? Yes. 22. Did you add in my plus ones? Uh, oh, I did not add any of that. So, so that should be 22. 22. 22. That, that's huge, guys. That might have just saved, uh, saved everyone but Miska. <laughs> no, no. Miska's going to be okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Bet. I didn't know I did that. And are we still in combat? Uh, you no, are until Miska dies, yeah. No, okay. Wow, no face. That's, that's not cool. <laughs> I mean, he's going down. He's he's only unconscious right now. And poisoned. He's poisoned. Yeah. The poison <laughs> he's is not hurts. dying. He's not uh, dying yet. He's got to take more poison one, damage first. Yeah, you have one action. Yeah, well, but he is dying still one. dying at zero. He's no, stabilized. He, he doesn't have dying. Oh, yeah. I cast stabilize on him. Yeah, he has wounded Did you? Okay. one. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Because uh, Feldir doesn't entirely know if there might be more snakes, I'm going to cast... Uh, uh, did I press the wrong button? I'm going to cast shield. I okay. If I just cast it twice. Okay. <clears throat> All righty, Rue. Uh, Bryce. Uh, what do I have here? I don't know. You have four of something going on up there. Well, it's three now. This is, this is a round tracker. Oh, okay. Yeah. For his uh, lingering this, this per lingering performance for Inspired Courage. He's good. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll, can I just, I'll, I'll take a move action, or sorry, a stride action okay. to here, and then I'll take a perception action to seek, to see if there's any other. Go ahead and roll me a perception. You don't see anything. Nope. There's a bear on the floor. All right, yeah. still one action left. <laughs> Can I seek again? Sure. I'll do that. Yeah, that's better. <clears throat> so um, you see that uh, right across the path next to Feldir, if he had moved, you know, like one more square in, he would have triggered a tripwire track. Huh. Oh. If you move one more square to the left? The bit between the trees, I think. Or, I don't know. Oh, this one? Yeah. Oh, let's see here. That's not good. <clears throat> it looks like it's a tripwire from about here to here. Remember, we still have those cool thieves tools. You, okay, there you go. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you could walk uh, all the way around this tree and go through, but you can't get past these trees without going through those squares, you know? Pointing out is an action, though, right? So I can't do that. No, you can't point it out, but you know where it is. Right. Or at least I'm not going to step on it. Nope. Uh, it's uh, a free action to talk, though, to so it. Feldir, don't move. Yeah, he can. Yeah. yeah, you can say that. Yeah, Feldir, stay put. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> don't move! Now you think there's a, a gigantic snake about to strike you if you move. <laughs> now I feel like I need to move. Yeah. <laughs> I move! All right, Lyra. Okay, I'm gonna go attempt to battle medicine the bear. Battle medicine the bear. I don't believe that. I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you. Did you say film to your move? Specifically <laughs> to the south. <laughs> that right, west? We can, we okay. Can heal Mishka of 2d8. Yeah. I'll roll the uh, snakes again. Though. Medicine the bear. The newest album. <laughs> like, minus the bear. So, no. Gosh, I cannot roll D8. God damn. Oh, I'm I so sorry. Close. Wow. Well, the bear's at three hit points. Better than zero. Yeah. But he might be heading back down there soon enough. I mean, you know, <laughs> she's got we'll an action left. Who knows, man? Yeah, Maybe she's got true. something planned. <laughs> I do not have something planned. I raised my shield. <laughs> nice. Uh, Luca. 
uh, Luca will proceed to stride uh, to right about here. Over he the will then line. go onto his pout, onto his like basically hip and pull out what appears to be a small notebook, open it up and say, excellent, I will now observe how poison reacts to a bear. And <laughs> that's him. It's, it's how the bear reacts to the poison. <laughs> All right. So the bear is drained one. Yeah. So it needs to make a fortitude save, and it has minus one to that. So that's a 19. <gasps> 19 is good, so it goes from stage two to stage one. Yay. Which means it's, well, drained doesn't go away until you sleep, so it's still drained. But, mm -hmm. hey man, it's close. Uh, two poison damage. Hey, there's three health. Yeah, I think I think no. it's still up at least. <laughs> he's still alive. He's not dying. Hey, too. he's powered through. He um, has been able to bear it. At this Ooh. point, uh, Yikes. no, no. Yikes. Let's see, gross. I quit. I quit. <laughs> I want to use. The girly chai uh, said, "Don't get rattled." No. Jesus. I, I want to. I can do. Battle medicine on him too, right? Or do I have? Uh, to no, have he is immune to, to battle medicine for one day. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. All right. You can battle so, medicine yourself. I could. Well, I'd or... rather give him more hit points. Um, Don't you have a focus spell for that? Yeah, it only takes ten minutes no, to cast. No, it's immune only to my battle medicine. Not all battle medicine. Does it say your battle medicine? It says your battle medicine. Okay, well there you go. That, that's a skill action. Yeah. Yep. Or something. Okay. Yep. Medicine. Do you have battle medicine as a feat? It's a, okay. So it's a it's feat. feat. Sorry. Never yep. mind. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's sorry. not something you can do with the medicine skill. It's nope. a feat no. that allows to you to feet. make a medicine yeah. skill. Okay. I took an extra feat. To get I thought it. you had so, a uh, a heal animal spell though. I do. It's a focus spell, but I believe it has a. I guess it is a one action and a two action. All right. Yeah, definitely. I'll I'll spin cool. that. Uh, do you want to do it as a one or a two action? I already did it. It's a two a two action for sure. Uh, full hit. Eight plus eight. Yep. Nice. nice. Brilliant. So, so he goes to fifteen, which is his current maximum. Yep. Because of drained one. Mm-hmm. And you have one action left. Um. Was there? Treat poison. I don't Treat know what the DC takes was. Treat poison takes a while. No, it, it takes, takes one action. action. It takes one Treat action in accordance is... with the uh, skill actions. Treat disease takes time. Uh, my bad, my bad. If I roll high enough, I think I give him a bonus. Yeah, yeah. Treat. I was going to say is that's the out. Well, if I look at treat poison instead of disease, uh, do you yeah, have healers tools? <laughs> yes. Okay. The animals got healers tools. Because I heal the animals. Yeah. So a twelve. It's against the uh, poison DC, and I'm pretty sure yeah. twelve fails. I will double check that for you. It does indeed, but it's not a critical failure, so you don't screw them up even more. <laughs> All yeah, right, failed here. Cool. Oh. All right. Um, well, I was told <laughs> not to move, so I will not move. Um. You've got a big dead snake in front of you. I do have a big dead snake in front of me, but I don't, I don't know what else to do, honestly. You could look around and see why you don't need to move. That or why you point. shouldn't move. You see, that, that'd be a good idea. Which is um, why you won't do it. Might think Which that. is why I won't do it. You could pick up <laughs> some right. sticks, put them in the big snake, and then make like a little like puppet so thing. I, I guess perception check to see <laughs> what <laughs> I can't move around for. Oh. Uh, yeah, oh, you, you, see that, you see that trap. All right. Uh, you then... could... You, it takes two actions to use disabled device, and you're in range. All right. If you I screw up disabled device, does it kill me, or is that just like a crit fail? Or That is a crit fail. Okay, well, I guess we're rolling the dice here. I'll do a thievery check, is it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are trained, correct? Yeah. Okay. Hacha. Oh, nope. that's not bad at all. Hey. 23 is really good. Yeah, you disable it. You, uh, you remove the tripwire. Cha. So what would have happened is had you <laughs> triggered this, uh, this huge branch would have swung down. Oh. 
and pierced you for a d6 plus 4 piercing damage. Oh, so and you can tell that they were co- and you know that it's also coated with poison and would have mm. done an additional poison, d8 poison, poison, poison damage <clears throat> with no save. That's, That's awful. Yeah, that it would have been terrible. Bad omen right there. It's a very bad omen. There's I'm so sure much poison. All right, Bryce, you're up. We gotta, we gotta <laughs> wait till we get to Mishka again. Is anybody gonna do anything before we get back to Muck? No. I mean, there's nothing I, I, there's nothing I can do to help him. So. Yep. I mean, if you have uh, medicine trained, you could oh. always try treat poison. I ran out of skill ranks, unfortunately. Uh, Lara, you have medicine. You want to try it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, as long as I'm allowed with the initiative. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Cool. Let's see how we do. Woo! Nice. There you okay. go. Uh, so then we get to the bear. Uh, if you want to try and treat poison to get a critical success, you can, Muck, before we handle the bear's actions. Uh, but it's at a plus two right now, which is a plus one because of drain. Oh, I think you oh, muted. Muted. He did! Yeah, I'm muted. Um, <laughs> so he's at a plus one. So I could make it up to a plus three if I scored well? Yeah, yeah you would need a pretty, pretty high 20. A pretty high 20. Mm-hmm. For a natural to, 20. To succeed? Mm, to, to critically succeed. Yeah. She got a success. You could yeah. only... So, I'll just let him roll. Um, All right, he's got so the it's hit like points. fortitude plus one? So I'm just like, give him a little stroke. <laughs> So no! it's an eight, so no! he's back at two. Um, so there's a hero point if I've ever seen one. Yeah, I don't have a Does hero Miska point. Does Miska have a hero point? <laughs> Can I use one of my hero points for Miska? <laughs> I'll allow it. All right. Okay. At one. Don't let me down. There you go. Okay. Hey. One and two. Hey. All right, he is Good cured of the poison. Point. He is still drained one, though. All right, so no. cure to the poison, no longer <clears throat> that. I'm still wounded one as well. Uh, no, until I get treat. Until I get treat wounds. You treated, yeah, you have to use the you have to use the me, the ten minute medicine skill to get yeah, rid of wounded. You have to treat yeah. wounds to get rid yeah. of wounded. Right. And he's drained. So. And then I. W- oh, I think we should take a break. <laughs> Was that from? What was your wounded from earlier? No, he was wounded after he died from the poison, and I stabilized him. We're talking about the bear. Right, sorry, my bad, my bad. I was thinking you. Yep, carry on. <laughs> I took off my wounded because yeah, you treated me. That's what I was confused about. Me. I got confused, yeah. sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think we all lose our up attack. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Attack up, because that's over. Um, You know... uh. I'm feeling a little winded. Uh, maybe while you guys look around, uh, I'll just sit here and uh, tend to my wounds for a few minutes. Good idea. I would um, like to treat my own wounds for the next 10 minutes. Okay, yes, you're I, treating wounds? I can put... While yeah. he's doing that, can I try and treat the bear's wounds? Uh, that's all right. Well, if he's already um, been treated, he can't. because it... he the, bear, the bear is at max hit points. But the tree, she can so, do treat wounds to remove the wounded the condition. Wounded yeah. condition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Certainly. I can just try and do that. It's, so we're going to sit there right. doing healing stuff. If you Don't worry want. about me. <laughs> You're <laughs> fine. <laughs> You're fine. The bear's more important. Yes, I'm gonna... doing just fine. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh. going to say that Muck wouldn't be able to treat his own wounds because he was already treated. It would need an hour to pass. Oh, yeah. You can't. You've already been treated, Muck. Mm. Oh, okay. So That's treat wounds. Uh, it's solid. it's confusing. Yeah, it's but cool. you could you could use that role on I'm Felder if you want to take a trick wounds. <laughs> no, <laughs> what is, what is... I'll use it on I'll use it on Felder. That's no problem. Oh, thank you very much. All right, before you roll, I want to see Alice. i rolled, crush I these got... two d eight. Okay, okay, thanks. Let's see. Four. Hey, last time it actually did like say fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> oh no! Never mind. God damn. I, I'll, I'll use my two d eight for his healing. Thank you. Thank you for the eleven, though. I'll take that. <laughs> yep. No, yeah, if you were a slot machine, that would be a jackpot at this point. That's three. All right. Around. So uh, the bear 
the druid, the monk, mm -hmm. and the champion are busy for ten minutes. What do yeah. the wizard and the bard do? Unless the wizard needs me for something, I will take ten minutes to refocus. Okay. Uh, yes, you can do that. I will keep watch for more snakes. Roll Those seek. Totally. Roll perception. I'll be able to see them for sure. I'm very perceptive. Not at all. Uh, hey, try. to be fair, like, my healing actually, it doesn't matter because it was like, on the bear. I know. We just wanted you to roll because health. you crushed yeah, it so to hard. See them, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you whoop it so hard. I was so good. It's That's good. the is Gary way Keep to say evil. dunked on somebody. You whooped on him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you can thank oh. Cody RTR for that, who probably isn't even in chat anymore because he's a piece of shit. Oh. <laughs> Probably left. He doesn't even watch my game. <laughs> Look, see, he's not even commenting. He says he's there, but that doesn't mean he's at the computer. <laughs> he's not there. Uh, he's not there. He's not even there. He doesn't care. He's hanging out with his wife and kid. He's like, fuck James and Marcy. <laughs> see, look, he's not totally not there. He's had plenty of time. We've, we've been calling him out now for a minute. Okay. So, Mr. Luca... <clears throat> uh, you see that this is not just like a, like an area in the woods per se. It looks like it may be some kind of a path. Path into the woods. Yeah. Well, uh, once you're all rested up, um, Muck as our resident, well, person named Muck, uh, you could lead us down this path, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> As the uh, the guy named Muck, um, you go. You go. I, I feel like the I'll be, be happy bang. to. It's just really... still need a few more minutes. Feldir yeah. was pretty hurt. Yeah, what, man. Look at that. It looks like a path. It goes. Can you see that? Uh... Yeah. Yes, Muck. Once you're done, I'm not an outdoorsy type of person. I'm much more of a indoorsy type of person. So, I. You leading the way on this shall be fine. Of course. What he means to say is that we trust you implicitly. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I, yes, I'm sure if anything happens, I, I'll get hurt first, and then that'll help you guys not get hurt. Exactly. <laughs> That's so depressed. <laughs> He's a your man. Sure. <laughs> that's one way of looking at things. I'm not sure if that's necessarily a bright way of looking at things. I will stand right beside you, Muck, if you'd wish. I'll be right behind. Muck is very hurt. I mean, you guys do have potions and stuff, right? Yeah. That's true. Yeah, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Muck, would you like a potion? I have a potion. What kind of time I, of day yes, is it I now? I can give you a potion. So, I love we this. did get some of those, didn't we? Uh, yeah, I, I, I do hurt. Uh, mostly bumps and bruises. It's nothing really, though. Is it getting uh, late yet? Yeah. Muck is not a good meat shield. A fully healed Muck is a good meat shield. <laughs> he will He will accept the potions graciously, um, if not a little uh, intrepidly. Have yourself a minor. What time of day is it now? Uh, it is still uh, early evening. It's not even after six. It's probably like five now. It's only been an hour. Okay. Remember, remember that like shows don't happen in the evening. No, yeah, absolutely. I just know it'd be some time because then it'd be too damn dark to see anything. <laughs> so I don't know. The last circus I was at, it was so damn dark it was hard to see anything anyway. Oh. Well, yeah, but that's a modern circus. <laughs> yeah, it's part of the experience. Was, that, yeah, it's part of the experience. <laughs> yeah, if you right, can't so see what's see. going on, you don't see that they're like you know fibbing to you the whole time. Yeah. So if I take one of those minor potions, that's what. Uh, 1d8. 2D, 1d8. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this is useful. Yeah, that's not bad. There you go. As long as everyone else rolls the d8s, we're good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm better. I'm, I'm more than uh, I'm more than two thirds now. So I can okay. certainly take the lead. Oh, it looks like it goes that way. Uh, the river's down there somewhere. I think I can hear it. Yes. Yes. I yes, guess we follow good. the path. Yeah. Uh, stop me wherever. Right there, oh. Feldweer. Everybody else can get to where they would be in the marching order without Feldweer moving. I have no idea what's going on with your token. It's got it's got some kind of a marking on it there, uh, Lyra. 
Oh, that was the Inspire Courage, which is no longer... There it goes. All right. All right. <clears throat> Go ahead and give me perception checks, all of you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, Ugh. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. All right. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Absolutely. Bang up, bang up job we're doing. Yeah. All right. So what do we end up getting? A 15, a 7, an 8, a 6, and an 18, huh? Mm. Yeah. Who got the 18? Luca. Okay. Somehow from one. way in the back, Luca, uh, you, you gain a little bit of uh, info here. Uh, you hear uh, what appears to be a conversation uh, that sounds like the burbling of like water over rocks or maybe a spring coming out of the ground or, or even a small waterfall uh, between what you can sense are two creatures. Uh, it appears as though we have some sort of conversation going ahead. It is quite well masked with the uh, stream's babbling brook of sorts. It sounds very similar to that. Uh, would I be able to identify what type of creatures would speak this? Maybe. Or would speak in this way? Maybe. Let me see what you use to, uh, to identify this particular creature. God, I hope it's a cultism or arcana. Uh, you can wear Arcana or Nature. Awesome. I'll do Arcana then. I wonder what language sounds like nature. 18. Huh. Consistent. Uh, 18. <clears throat> it is Aquan. Oh, that's different. Okay. Hmm. Don't have that one, unfortunately. Uh, so, do you tell us, oh yeah, there's some people speaking Aquan up ahead? Yes, I will. Very well. That's uh, a water language? We Aquan? Quiet and yep. sneak up on them. That yeah. is exactly what I was thinking, Muck. Uh, I will go stealth check. I don't know what you want to avoid notice. I don't know how that works. I think it's avoid notice, yeah. Yeah, it's encounter actions here. Hmm. But encounter it's... exploration. Exploration, it's... yeah. Sorry. Secret check, isn't it? Yeah, he doesn't know what he rolled yeah. for uh, yeah, yeah. stealth. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh... Muck tells that. Mishka to be quiet and... Uh, yeah, I think we're yeah. all probably trying to stealth. I'm we're all trying to stealth. Void detection. Okay. All right, so I will roll for everyone here in order. What is your plus to stealth, Muck? Uh, Muck's bonus is... If you used my macro, it would just steal it from me. Um, yeah, but I don't want to push buttons. Gotcha. <laughs> my, my stealth is a plus two. Okay. Two. Why did oh armor's giving me a penalty? That's why. What's the bear got? Mishka's stealth is uh, two as well. Okay. What is yours, Lyra? Three. Three? Yeah. Bryce? Two. Oh, that's not good. Oh. <laughs> What's yours, Luca? Plus six, and I'm trained. Okay. Okay. As if you like, do we want me to just go in front? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it looks like uh, Feldir, Mishka, uh, Lyra, and Bryce, uh, you succeeded. Nice. Uh, but Luca and Muck did not. Unfortunately. Let's, let's go ahead and roll Sorry. initiative. <clears throat> Use a stealth roll for that. Everyone thing? is using stealth. All right. oh, hey, I don't have to take a penalty to this one. Oh, shoot. I gotta oh. set it up then. Uh, it takes so much effort. Nope. Oh. Guess you didn't click oh, on the I forgot to. That's it as an issue. I'll just change the number. Oh, nice. I was ready. Wow. You were you were very quiet, Felder. Aren't you? It's actually better for me than perception is. Huh. Yeah, no, same. <laughs> All right. Damn twig. <laughs> All right, Feldir man. You mm -hmm. uh you didn't see any of these. Yeah. So you don't know what's going on. Uh you you are you are definitely aware there's uh, at least two creatures over in there somewhere. So what is it if I'm moving like stealthily is it like just half speed? It's half speed. So I think for you uh one one stride is 10 feet. 
You just oh, lose shoot, five feet. Be... All right. Uh, I'm going to come across two actions to come across to here. Okay. Right, it'd be two actions to do 20 feet? Yep. yep. You can do and... 25 for two actions if you want. Oh, okay. Because uh, well, uh, that makes yeah. sense to me. Yeah, I am a benevolent I... game master. Then I will come mm. across here so I'm still in the trees. Do I see <laughs> I don't anything? like it. <laughs> do I see them chilling up by the river? Uh, well, I got some text to read for you. All right. This small clearing, no more than the widening in the path through the thick woods, contains a small pile of leaves, a few feet in diameter, with a thin blanket. Next to the leaves rests a small backpack emblazoned with a green patch. The stream burbles merrily nearby. So there's nothing there. Uh, you don't see anything. Is a blanket. Would it be like a perception check? I don't it's see. It's definitely anything? a seek to okay. try and find things that are. Uh, I mean, you uh, know, there's stuff here. You just don't see it. All right, perception. Ha cha. Oh, I do believe you might have found some stuff. Yes. Mm, you definitely did. The DC was 16. Ah, uh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> you're not going to like this, bro. No, not at all. <laughs> They're flanking you. <laughs> Damn, they were. Oh, what the? <laughs> they were. <laughs> they really were. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> and I thought I was being sneaky. Wait, did they notice me no. though? Nope. So we're just in this weird position. <laughs> no, we were both sneaky. Well, you see that you see that the one by the river is currently like <laughs> taking big wet stones out of the river and putting them in this backpack. And and you're you can only guesstimate that whatever sound it's making is it giggling about it. And the other one is by the leaves and blanket, and it's just it's just kind of looking at the other one, and it's like ah, just. Ah. Like, it can't believe that it's doing what it's doing. Stop stealing the rocks. And I'm just in the middle of them, very uncomfortable about the yeah, it's like, it's, situation. Yeah, it's, like, it's kind of like they blended in a little bit, you know what I mean? They're, they're small. They're, uh, they might even be tiny. Give me a second here. Mm. Are they tiny? They might be tiny. I don't think they are. Nope, they're small. So they're really little. Uh, anyway, that is your three actions. Here I am. Uh, Bryce. Between a you You haven't seen them yet either, Bryce. Place. All right, I'll take. The only person that that knows they're there is Luca. I'll take a perception. I'll take a seek action. Okay. At a minus four. Why minus four? Huh. Because I'm, I'm still affected by that thing, right? Oh yeah. High. So, oh, so that's a fourteen. No, that that's with the penalty. Okay, with the penalty. Well, you yeah. see him, yeah. Yeah, you notice them now. Now that Feldware's standing in the middle of them, and you see he he's looking back and forth like fuck. I'm gonna. I imagine point that's out. What you're doing. Oh, 100 percent. Does pointing out going is? I mean, I'll point, point out to... to the immediate party mm -hmm. that I see these two things. And what exactly does point out do? That is a basic action, right? Yes. Yes. You have to point uh... out. Here we go. You indicate yeah. a creature that you can see yeah. to one or more allies. The creature is hidden to your allies rather than undetected. So mechanically speaking, does that do anything? Uh, yes, it means yes. that they can target it because they know where right. it is, but they, they just have like the mischance. They have to make the... The flat check of eleven or higher to actually land a hit. Mm -hmm. It does help, so thank you. So, do what? So, did I only point out one, or could I point out both? You, with... you point them out. Uh, you indicate a creature, so it's one creature. Okay. You can point them so both I'll... out for two actions. Yeah, so I'll do that for my three actions. Okay, sweet. That's actually yep. a good use of actions. <laughs> I'll be your bi. I think it's a bad. I like how he says, actually, like my turn wasn't right before, and apparently terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you did put yourself into flank. Look. They don't know I'm here, so I'm still safe. I'm good. Uh, I mean, they definitely know Bryce no, is no, here. No, no, He's... no, 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 no. They know Bryce is here, though. But I'm good. And that's for what now. Is. Lyra. <laughs> All right. So first, I'm just going to move to there. Oh, they definitely see you because you moved. <laughs> you didn't stealth. 
Yep, that's fine. I'm not going to attack it anyway, so. Yeah, you just came stumbling out of the brush yep. like some kind of giant. Again, my wisdom is not great. <laughs> yeah, you just come like blended in with a bush. This, this oh, two and a half foot tall creature is like, oh, Jesus, it's an ogre. <laughs> <laughs> she, no. She's huge. Oh, and Jesus. Then, so first, I'll, am I attempting a flat check against this little one? Yeah. It's a d20. Need 11 or higher. Nice. That well, do. yeah, yeah, you can land, land hits. And then I'm gonna attempt to um, attack it with my dagger. Ooh, wow. Uh, yeah, that'll hit. Yeah. He could have been nice. <laughs> it's awful vicious for things that haven't attacked us yet, yeah. <laughs> or even provoked us. Four damage. Oh my goodness. She, uh... She's had a rough day. <laughs> Quick on the draw. Four damage? <laughs> yeah. God. Why well, you just gotta beat my guys down like this? Now they're hostile. Uh... Four they're damage. They're probably gonna be hostile. Uh, so that's only two diplomacy. actions. Yes, so then I'm gonna raise my shield. Okay. Which one is this one? Well, this one saw you, Lyra, so it's just gonna move to, uh... Yeah, I'm trying to draw aggro. Let's see here. Oh, I should have. I, I wish I was here for this, but Lyra doesn't go before the thing. What do you mean? Enemies always go first if there's a tie in initiative. Yeah, well, yeah. it happens. We're playing by the fun rules. Yeah, we're playing by the good <laughs> rules. Uh, so maybe I'm the enemy. <clears throat> uh, so <laughs> I need, I need a reflex save from Lyra. And fell there, even though you're oh. hidden. All right. Sweet. Oh wow, that's terrible. Yeah. Honestly, yep. I'm honestly. Hold on, hero point. I'm so sorry. I have a Do plus eight to reflex. You have another one. You had two hero points. Yeah. Didn't you okay. give one away? He did, but he had yeah. two. Because I had the one from the start, and then I got another right, one. Right. Uh, so don't let me down, roll. In uh, fact, Bryce, I'm giving you a hero point. Giving up your entire turn to point out two enemies was uh, was was pretty unselfish. Fifteen is not great. Fifteen is also a failure. Damn it! Let me see here. Waste of a hero point. Mm-hmm. You're oh, always okay. in fifteen feet. Though. So uh, the one next to the river, it uh, it takes a deep breath, and then it breathes out, and and what looks like like. Uh, Oh. Like spray, like from like maybe a uh, like a you know a dolphin snout or something. You know you've seen those kind of things, right? They come out, and they breathe. It's Triple H breathing water, uh, breathes it out <laughs> upon you all. And there's a total of four acid damage. Ooh. I'm gonna liberating step it against Feldir, so he only takes. Oh, uh, what damage. does liberating step inter interrupt? Because this is not an attack. It I think it's whatever it takes damage. damage. Okay. If damage is dealt to an ally. Okay. So, so that will reduce it by three for you. So you okay. can take one. And you so, can also step if you'd like. Uh, Stepping so, will break yeah. stealth. Yeah, that's what you I was going to ask. To. Like, you don't have to. I took the damage. I was wondering if that also yeah. took stealth away, but I guess not. So yeah, I'm going to stay here. No, they probably <clears> didn't notice. But I'm taking the full four, aren't I? So. Uh, yep. You see it even covered the other one. Uh, you can now see that one, everyone. Like, if it was hidden before, it's not now because it's taken an action, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that was two actions, so it still has one left, and it doesn't know Felder is there. Oh mm. my god, no. And it runs straight into me. Bunk. <laughs> oh my... Uh, it moves through that square. You don't have any way to prevent that or do anything about it, do you? No. How does Attack of Sovereignty work? That's just like a whole feat you have to have, right? You have to be a fighter or champion. Yeah, uh, fighters get it at level one, it well. and I think champions can take it as a level six. That's six, yeah. I think barbarians okay. might barbarians be also well. No, you need to multi-class into fighter, I think, to get That's it out right. otherwise. Fighters fight, man. Uh, then it's turn is over, and Luca, you're up. Excellent. Um, barbarians well, can get it. One okay. action for reach yeah, spell six, and two actions for a electrical arc. 
Uh, what is the, the what does that make the distance? Uh, it makes it sixty. Okay, so you use the ruler and draw sixty feet to one, and then keep going and see. Okay, so like hit yep. Q, hit Q on one, and then go to the other one. That's how you determine it. So like yeah. if it's sixty feet, you could have hit one way further away. You see what I'm saying? Oh, my God. They just yeah. both have to be in that sixty foot range, from one yeah. to the other. Okay. Instead we, uh, of Q, you can also use the right mouse button. You got the safety shot on the both. Oh, Roll so damage that. It is electricity damage. Yeah. <laughs> it's electric. It's shocking. It's electrifying. <laughs> and that is a reflex? Uh, yeah, DC oh, 17. Wow. They're really good at this. I know. Most things oh, are. Oh, that one failed, though. Nice. Well, that one critically succeeded, though. A 30. A 30 and a 15. Oh. So, so a full 30 damage. takes no damage. <laughs> yeah. So this one takes five. Uh, let me make sure it doesn't have any immunities here. Mm. Unless it rolled a natural 20, the critical should be a... Well, it rolled a 30, which is 10 higher than 17, so... Yeah. Right. So that is a critical success. All yeah, right. Not do, 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 do. They have a really good plus to their uh, their reflex, apparently. Yeah, uh, small things normally do, but yeah. All right, Muck, you're up. Uh, you can see the top one. Did you want the uh, the creature to go first? Uh, sure, that uh, helps Matt, you out. So sure. Matt was saying monsters go first. They're supposed so, to, yeah. GM wins okay. ties. Cool. Can, that helps. We can me fix out. that. Yeah, it helps you out. We'll fix that. <clears throat> All right, so this one uh, sees you down there, and it hopes Alira can't make an attack of opportunity. She cannot, not high enough mm. level. <laughs> so she you also gonna... used the reaction. Yes, yeah. it did. So it is going to move right there, and then it is going to uh, use a breath weapon. So I might not even take it. Oh, wonderful. So I need a reflex, a basic reflex save. Just me. You and the bear. It's always the bear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, benefits to being a backliner. Yeah. Yeah. It's real nice, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Not so good. Uh, you both failed. Uh, you both take eight damage. Acid. Eight acid. Well, that's ridiculous. It's Damn. 2d6, man. It's not that bad. Oh, it's awful. Could have been worse. Yeah, could have been 11. I could be dead. Shield. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, that is all of it. So, Muck, you're finally up. And now everything is uh, apparent to everyone except for Feldir. <laughs> I'm mm. sneaky. Let's see here. Uh, I should... Run for your life. Nothing. Destroy this thing. Uh, what do... Uh, can I recall knowledge on this? Well, that takes an action. Damn it. Arcana or nature, sure. Uh, yeah, but it takes an action. I'm I'm used to recalling knowledge being a free action. Yep. Um, I am going to command Mishka to attack. And he will move up and bite. For a whopping two, unless it's a critical. Do you not add your strength? It should. Uh, it should be adding. It's uh, not. It looks like it's not. Let me see what's... Uh, why three? Why is it not adding the strength? I don't know. Oh, you have to, uh, for the NPC sheet, you have to just put the... It doesn't auto-add strength and stuff. Yeah, okay. So that's going to be plus three to that two, which is five. five. So a 25... Uh, hoo hoo hoo, close, but not a crit. Mm. An AC of 16. Whoa, Whoa cheating! Mm. Metagamer! <laughs> hey, I wouldn't have said anything if you didn't say anything. <laughs> so... I was describing it like you got uh -huh. close to hitting it, and then you're like, what oh, I've got a 16. <laughs> <laughs> so, Muck has a two actions remaining. He sure does. Um, he will. He sees how bad Mishka mauled it, and uh, 
he's going to step up and swing with uh, two hands with his with his uh, staff. Uh, staff, quarter staff, yeah. All right, here it comes. He's uh. going to miss. Yep, that's almost a critical miss. Very close. Oh, it might have been, might have been seventeen AC though. <laughs> It's really got a 19, guys. Damn. Oh. Well, that would have been a critical. Be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's Muck. All right, mister. I've been hidden this whole time. He just I'm... sits there. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? You guys got it. I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> After you didn't heal me, uh, I'm going to do a stance, a tiger stance. Flurry of blows on the guy right in front of me. Pow. Pow. Uh, so then, yeah, the 13 misses, but. 19 for 11 damage. Wow, 11 damage. Yes. Kapow! Punch in the back of the head. Do I want to crit fish? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I will also follow up with my third action being a tiger claw at minus 10. Oof. And that is a total crit <laughs> fail. Well, it was minus 8. <laughs> you know. It's only minus 8, bro. You, you only rolled a, a negative that 1. saves it then. I only rolled a negative one. It's okay. You rolled at negative two, actually. You know, crit fishing is honest work. So you got a negative. Wow, you got a negative three, dude. Look, it happens sometimes. That is a critical, critical fail. (laughs) (laughs) You know, sometimes sometimes you just whiff really bad. Well, you did crit. You did fish for the crit and you got it. Yeah, you did get the crit. You got a crit, which is not a good one. He got the best crit for me. (laughs) Uh, Bryce, man. uh, I don't know, man. Things, things Things are looking pretty bad. They always are, it seems. Yeah, they always are. Muck is uh, uh, I guess hurting. I'll, I'll inspire courage. I'm not gonna. Well, yeah. Let's let's make let's let's make it linger. Okay. So I'll I'll roll that uh performance. Twenty. Okay. That'll hit. Well, I assume that you mean that's a success. Yeah, it hits. <laughs> it hits the DC, sir. Okay. And then is is there like a rock or something I can always man? <laughs> Thank you. I'll you cast te- telekinetic projectile at uh, uh, the the blue guy targeting close okay. to Miska. All right. Uh, I can find it. Oh, I have a bonus to the roll. Well, that hits. For a six. All right. That definitely hits. Too bad I rolled min damage, but min damage is better than no damage. Yeah. <laughs> damage is damage. Okay. So just a heads up, you guys have inspired courage for three rounds. Wow, oh, man, that was that was a good round. Good. Two good <laughs> rounds in a row. <laughs> Ugh, this one's not happy about this. Um... This one is going to attack Lyra. Yep. Twice. Oh. Mm-hmm. 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 Thankfully, he's not attacking the guy who punched him in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Just go. <laughs> well, but you slashed him. Well, he's using he's I using the rings, him. right? He's using the rings, and she looks in worse shape than you. Is the Mm. He can see my aura. Uh, That is a 27. That hits. Is that a crit? But it is not because I raised my shield. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) For two damage slashing. All right. And then this one, minus five. Uh, Is going to be a 18. Does not hit. Jeez. I'm very glad that I raised my shield. Razor shield's yeah. a good action. Yeah. And then it moves a total of 20 feet and submerges itself in the water. Oh, what a loss. Do we know what that does for it? Or is it no. just like... No one recalled water? knowledge, so we don't... <laughs> oh, <laughs> None yeah. of us know what this is. 
<laughs> it oh, looks oh, like it healed. <laughs> we saw the aura. It healed. Damn. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's the whole point of the auras, man. Now you know what's going on. You get to figure things up that you know. Uh, next is Lyra. All right. She's going to run up to the water where it disappeared, and she's going to go fishing. Okay. Is it concealed or anything? Wait. It, it is slightly concealed, and water it provides some cover. So its armor class is a little higher, and you have to make a flat check DC 5. Lyra, we're in the middle of combat. Please not... do not go fishing. All right, well, there's wow. one action. <laughs> just stab the water. Yeah, you're <laughs> You actually pull out a fishing rod, and I'm like, wait, whoa, whoa. Yeah, like got one action left. <laughs> Uh, can I attempt to recall knowledge about this thing using Arcana? Oh, using Arcana or Nature, yes. Arcana, yeah, because my nature sucks. Uh, 12. <laughs> yeah, Arcana's uh, not much better. <laughs> it, is, uh, it is some type of elemental. Cool. And you know that uh, it's, it's specifically it's a water method. They breathe acid. <laughs> yeah, they breathe acid. They heal when they're submerged in water. That's what you know. They they probably take less damage from acid and fire. Probably. Luca. Uh, first action reach spell. Second action electrical arc on them both. Oh my god. Are they within sixty feet? Yes. <laughs> oh my nice. god. Um, immediately. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I am a mortar. I will be giving the second one a plus two to his reflex though, because that's a that's a hell of a shot into the water. Down the bank into the water, but that's fine. It's a bank shot. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Let's see. So the first one uh, gets a twenty-three. Yeah, that's the success on crit. Thank goodness. Okay, and the second one gets a twenty-seven. Okay, well, that's, that's a great success. success. Damn. All right, yeah. how much damage is a success? Is half, half. Uh, five is two. No! And then it's its go. How far away is it from the water? <laughs> Too far. A little bit. 30 little feet. Bit. 30 feet. It's going to attack Muck. And then it's going to run away. Wow. Yep. Chicken shit. I can roll up. <laughs> oh, it rolled a 26. God yeah, damn. that Jesus. sucks. But it doesn't suck really bad. Except that I don't have a lot of hit points. <laughs> Take two damage. Oh, I'm and still standing. I rolled minimum just... damage. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> More than minimum, I'd have been unconscious and died. And then it can make it there for uh, 30 feet of movement. And then it also looks like it gets a little love from the water. Boop. <sighs> oh, man. Muck. <laughs> God, this is great. <clears throat> Now there's... Oh, well. Oh, man. I love it. I love it. Let's see. What do we do here? Um, They ran away. Um, man, good. I'm having fun. Is everybody having fun? Yeah. <laughs> Is everybody... More or less. Does everybody like being, like, on the verge of death, like, perpetually, Ooh. like, in perpetuity? I, mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm fine. <laughs> in perpetuity. Oh, I'm just giving you time. See. I'm just I'm just giving you time, Philip, to, you know, take in... What's going on? You know, you guys wandered upon these two methods. Uh, one was and, and the rest of my group started, and, and then Lyra yeah. ran into combat. One of yeah. them, one of them was like playing in leaves and chastising the other one, and the other one was and, like. And then it came up and spit acid at us. Well, yeah, but the one next to the that water was, was just—it was filling somebody's backpack <laughs> full of rocks, and oh, it was yeah. laughing about it. I bet that was funny to them. Oh, let's see. No, no. Um, we're we're gonna hang back. We're. Uh, <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> we're, we're just <laughs> screw it. Um, you better call nine one one. You need ICU pretty bad. Yeah, I'd say delay. Uh, I I know what I'm gonna do. I am going to fish out oh. the uh, the the minor elixir of life that I have, Ooh. and uh, do that thing. Um, D six so, healing. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get the healing because I don't want to die again. Okay, that's two I, actions. 
Is it D6 or D8? It's, it's D6. D6. It's D6 because okay. it's an alchemical, not a... Magic. Yeah, it's an elixir right. of life and not oh, a healing potion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, They're cheaper. They only cost three gold instead of like four. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, Which at level one, <laughs> that's a big price difference. Yeah. I don't know what it means about the bonus is plus one. I don't know if that matters. Uh, you get a plus one bonus versus, I think, poison oh, and disease against for diseases 10 minutes. and poisons for 10 minutes, yeah. Yep. Um, that's that. And for my last uh, action, I will command Mishka to stand down. Okay, so he has two actions. What does he do with them? Uh, he stands down. Oh, um, I don't know what that means. He just he, stays he doesn't there? Do, he just stays with me. He doesn't do okay. anything. He doesn't continue to attack. All right. <clears throat> Then after good old muck, mucky muck. Back at the beginning. Fell deer. Well, I love how you, despite being the GM, still metagamed and decided to cut me off from flanking. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I That's didn't just even... tactics. <laughs> Damn it. I, uh, I went I went the most direct route to the water, actually. Uh, ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, I'm going to take a step up, move action, uh, flurry blows on this guy god flurry blows fuck flurry blows dude you're gonna kill mm -hmm. my guy cha cha nice. that's the point so 17 Ooh. uh and so i don't think any of those hit a 17 you, and uh did you apply my bonus oh no i did not so, so 18, 18 and then 19 minus 5 a 16. whatever this is it is it isn't your tiger 16. claw agile yeah it is i yeah. i guess i don't know how i tried to look it up Agile, then, instead of being minus 5, minus 10, you're minus 4, minus 8. Oh, okay. So, yeah, uh, okay. So, so that is so an, it's 18 an 18 and a 16. And a 16. Normally, yeah. a 16 would hit. But, but he's in the water. Yes, he's, he's got cover from the water. However, you've got to roll a d20, and you need a 5 or higher for the first one to hit, because it did. If you roll a 5 or there higher. A. All right. And the damage on that was... Is nine, what, eight, ten. Nine, nine, ten. Oh, ten damage, yes. Oof. Mm. Yeah, mm. man, you just... Oh, you go in the water after him. Wait, is that the oh, right one? I meant the one in the middle. Yeah. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. Yeah, if that kills, <laughs> I'll take that one. <laughs> it would have it killed either one of them. Oh, uh, okay. But you definitely want this one to die and not the other one. Yeah, I want in the middle. Hey, one. they're both dead. Oh, hey! I did it. <laughs> One punch, two people. All right, uh, there we I, go. I, wait, I can, in fact, at a minus eight, go for the other guy. You can. Acha! Okay. Uh, that's nothing. It's an eleven. It's uh, not gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> I saw the big number. I went. Oh, I'm excited. Wait a minute. Tragic. You hate to see it. Bryce, you're up. I'll take. A move action or a stride action here. Can I, I skip a stone in there? Or well, is, you can't. Is, you can't actually see it from that position. You have to remember right. that there's a big old tree trunk in between, in the middle mm -hmm. of those trees. So you're gonna have to move around them in a better way to get. You know I'll take I mean? a third. I'll take a second stride to okay. to here. All right. Yeah, you can, can see, I see it, from, it there. from there. You can right, see I'll, where it is. I'll I'll toss a dagger in. See what happens. What is the range on a dagger? Not very good. Probably ten feet. Ten. Ooh, wow, that's a hell of a throw. Okay, that is uh, range increment two. Okay. Mm. It's got a raid from Goblin Cave. Thank you for coming. Oh, my goodness, oh, a you. raid from Goblin Cave? Did I miss nice. that? It just popped up while you guys were talking, so. Hey, Goblin Cave, man. Thanks for coming in. Hopefully we can entertain you guys. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. Uh, right now, Bryce, is uh, he, he's going to attempt to save the party Who with is a dagger. So is, it. what what penalty am I taking? To, is so it it's a it's a minus two for the range. Okay. And then it is, uh, you know, you need to roll a five or right. higher on a flat d twenty. Okay. First off. So I'm gonna take. I'm just gonna put a bonus to roll as minus one to factor in inspire courage. Okay. Here we go. Eighteen. All right. Now roll the flat check. Nice. Oh yeah, oh. that that hit <laughs> and turns it into a crit. Uh, it doesn't no, need to be a crit. No. Uh, damn, but it turns it into a crit, right? Doesn't need to be a crit because but like it does. Though, right? Cause that killed it anyway. 
I know, but like it'd be, it'd be cool to set that standard. So if we ever do that again, yeah, it'd be cool <laughs> to give you. Oh, do you really want to give me these those kind of bonuses too? Wait, no, no, no. It's just for us. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> All well, right. I guess I'm not taking blur at any time ever. Yeah. So uh, encounter mode is off. Er, yeah. Yeah. And exploration mode on. I'm so, so I panicked. I panicked. Can I dive into the river and get my dagger back? <laughs> Roll me a perception. You you may not want to dive. You might hurt yeah, your DC head. DC ten. <laughs> yeah. DC well, ten I'm... perception. Yeah, Yay. you get it. That's with the penalty. Yeah, you get it. Sweet. So what's what's in this backpack? Uh, oh, so I saw him filling it with stones. Yeah. So the backpack contains about two bulk worth of wet river rocks, on top of a highly detailed map of Aberton, which is the town that you're near and its surrounding environments. <laughs> now the town is not as detailed as like a survey map that maybe. Uh, you know, an Abadarian priest would take, or or even a Gazran, normally. Uh, but it does look like it's worth six gold pieces. Nice. And it's uh, it's not ruined by water because uh, maps that get ruined by rain are actually the most worthless thing in the world. <laughs> uh, you see that there are notes scribbled on it about uh, different locations all over the map. Uh, most of them seem to. Uh, be about the circus of wayward wonders. Interesting. Uh, mostly on on the detail of its movements and the movements of the circus members, and they are mm. disturbingly accurate. Like really disturbing. Like it, it's it's got like when you all go on breaks to you know use the loo or the head or the privy or it's the toilet. Good. Um, well, that's disturbing. Water closet. It's also got. Um, Something called Oldland's Orchard marked on it, and something called Hafton Mill. Hmm. Uh, any notes regarding those locations? Uh, not really. No, no real notes. Uh, well, there's detailed movement there too. It, it seems that they they have been detailing um, uh, the mill. There's movements on the millers. Not as in the name Millers, but the people that work in and around the mill. Um, and uh, you also see there are a few handfuls of tasty nuts. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yes. That's I've great. been looking for these. <laughs> and then does everybody know what a feather token is? <clears throat> yes. yes. It's like a, a faint idea. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a coin with a feather on one side and on the other something else. This one has a holly bush on the other side. Hmm. Okay. They're called feather tokens because they're light and consumable. Hmm. If you want to know what it does, you have someone that can read aura. Yeah, you definitely are pretty that. sure that that is going to be magical. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Meanwhile, can I um, do some kind of check on the backpack and the sort of blankets to see if I can tell? If I know who was here, whose this is? Sure, go ahead and roll what you think applies. Oh, roll perception. Okay. Just to see if I can see any small clues. It's 18? Uh, 18. Um, it looks like it is sized for a small creature. Okay. Were those creatures also small? Uh, they were, but you're pretty sure uh, who identified them. Lyra, you're under the impression that these particularly small creatures would A, not carry a backpack, and B, not use a blanket as they are water elementals. So they're not... You know what I mean? Like, well, what good is a blanket underwater? It's not theirs. Yeah. <laughs> so here is what a holly bush feather token does. When it is activated, it immediately transforms into a living holly bush, filling a single square. The bush can provide standard cover. In addition, it has 2d4 bright red berries. While holly berries are usually poisonous, these berries are infused with beneficial magic. You can pick and eat a berry as an interact action to recover one hit point. Once plucked from the bush, a berry becomes non-magical after a few seconds, so it doesn't heal you if you don't eat it within the span of your interact action. 
If activated on soil, the plant continues to grow and thrive, although it doesn't produce any more healing berries. If activated elsewhere, it withers and dies within 1d4 days. Cool. So yeah, Hold on to that. Uh, essentially, you guys could use it to regain 2d4 hit points. Yep. It's worth 6 also gold. Build a nice holly bush somewhere. Well, you can buy one for 6 gold. It, it's, it would sell for half that. <clears throat> but I don't think your druid's going to let you... Uh, sell something that makes a permanent holly berry bush. Yeah, holly's holly would be good. Or that we could sell it for more if we haggled well. Maybe. Yeah, I I, I can do that. <laughs> I mean I don't see the problem with using it for some healing. Do we want to use it right now? No. No, no. Like it's a, no, no? we okay. might get a good moment to use it. Because we no, could because, also use it for because Mux Mux's going to going back to his trailer he's going to go back to the circus tent and say uh yeah the the uh, the carts are all clear uh kind of keep your eyes open things are going on uh i'm gonna go rest <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm gonna go tend tend myself <laughs> yeah i mean we i need some time checking up the rest of the place like we found some good clues but like we don't know wh whose bag this is mm -hmm. I mean, we can assume, you know, what us, small, that it's... What small people do we have in the circus? Oh, we thinking it's a spy, huh? Possibly, if they know our <laughs> movement. Well, let's see. Uh, your particular troop seems to have two half-elves, a bunch of humans, uh, the pretty elf girl, Mordrain, uh, so five good. dwarves, and two more humans, the professor, and there's uh, the people that he sent out. But so a very medium. diverse group. <laughs> but None of them medium. are small. No, I yeah. did not hear a single small creature be mentioned. No. no. Not a single one. I think it's definitely some spy. Or it could be someone that just wanted to use a small backpack. You know, for the style. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have the any stretch. influencers? Yeah, like, like the little purse backpacks that yeah, exactly. People wear on their backs. It's like that thing is smaller than your head. What are it you does doing? not carry anything in it. Wait, Miska's small right now, isn't he? Yes, it's Miska. Yes, Miska. Miska doesn't have a backpack. I, I of course not, know. because it's here. It drops. <laughs> I immediately <laughs> punch Miska in the face. Oh God! <sighs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Bardolph comes running. No, my baby. No. <laughs> uh, I believe uh, Sarkis has. What are, what are we doing yeah. now? Uh, I'd like to I go mean, back to the professor to report our findings. I was gonna say we keep checking the place. Oh, you want to keep? Oh, I mean, we can because we too. didn't we didn't fully check out the entire area. That's true. Because we I'm, didn't really. I'm check happy these. to walk through it on my way back to the big top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the general thing. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like we're not. Like once I'm again, not looking for any more trouble. Because <laughs> I don't think we ever actually checked these wagons. They're, no, they're locked. I mean, no. you would have to thievery them open. Right, they're you locked. You guys haven't went and told everybody that the... Uh... We, we haven't checked around them either, though. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, let's say we come over to here. Do we see anything? Uh, yeah, you guys get right there, and you see that uh, the circus set up a horse corral uh, oh. in one of the practice rings near a large heap of scattered boulders. Uh, the corral is obviously the, the rectangular one, and the... Uh, the ring is the obviously the octagon there. Is that an octagon, or is that more than the it's, thing with Jake? It's a dodecagon. Yeah, it's a dodecagon. Yeah, dodecahedron. Um, that that is what you see. Uh, give me perception checks. Oh, you already gave me one. Eighteen is high enough. I'll just let you know. Uh, you right. do see what appeared to be. I think that was for a previous check. Oh, yeah. is it? Oh, okay. Roll yeah. again. Yeah. Then roll again. You don't know back. nothing. You don't know nothing. <laughs> you know less than nothing. Oh, that's not bad. All right. All right. Oh. <laughs> 19, 19. Wow. Keep going. I want to see what everybody gets. Okay. I just got a message 18. on Discord. Yeah. Uh, are, Should the map be shown on stream? Oh, yeah. I can show the map on stream. You haven't been doing it all night. <laughs> Uh, no, I've been showing it when we're in combat. No, periodically, <clears throat> except for the yeah. last one. I didn't show it for the last one? No, you didn't. Oh, somebody should have told me. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a, sorry, viewers, I'm, I'm really into this. Um, I almost have enough points to give myself a hero point. 
I'm like really into this, and if I don't notice what I'm doing, you guys got to tell me. You got to be like, hey, James, you're doing this all by yourself. You're like a one man show with five other men and women. <laughs> one man. I, I don't check the stream. You think I watch it? <laughs> I don't watch the stream. Roll the roll's garbage. garbage. Roll the roll. <laughs> roll the roll's garbage. I'd rather watch Critical Roll. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, those are shots. <laughs> Uh, and then you see what appears to be a, uh, a bunch of little rat tracks around mm -hmm. the area, and they kind of look like they head towards the rocks. Got right. it. We'll come back so, and check that. We're not later. taking that bait. We're not, we're not no. doing that. Mark, lead the way. We have to. We have to clear the <laughs> no. area. Yeah. More, yeah. more the bad first thing the professor's going to say, happen. did you find any rat tracks leading to the rocks? Did you clear that <laughs> area? Did you make yes. it safe? We have to clear the area. It is our job as circus performers. You're correct. Lead, lead the way, my ancient friend. Very well. And I snap my ankle on one of the rocks. <laughs> no, I'm a clown. I, I've got good balance. Uh, so, yeah. Come around here. Go uh, through I, just, the I just rolled a two, two, and a one. This is not good for you guys. Great, cool. Just so Surprise. I time to get uh, there. Destroyed by the rat swarm. Uh, Will and Philip, <clears throat> when you guys yeah. get up in there, yeah, um, I'm, I'm I'm like way behind. It looks like both of us are kind of yeah, we're lagging, lagging towards the rear. Yeah, okay. like I was going to ask if there's horses in the circular one right here. There aren't right now because they're all in the big top because they were being <laughs> used for the. I would be show. going in there. So, um. You see that there are a lot of, like, rough, you know, stones here. And uh, the two of you notice that one, at that distance, you know, kind of like when you look at the clouds, you're like, oh, that's a dragon. That's a Ferris wheel. You see one that looks a lot like a bovine creature. Uh, oh. A cow. Rock, cow, rock, cow, rock, <laughs> does, cow. Does that rock look like a cow to you guys? Uh, um, oh, yeah, a, I see a little bit, yeah. Uh, looking... Uh, uh, oh, Lyra and uh, Feldir, yeah, you you see it quite closely from where you are. Yeah, okay. Awesome. It is dead on one hundred percent a cow. Made I'm ready of stone. to stone. I'm ready to it... fight this rock cow. Let's go. In fact, it looks like it. It could be. Uh... Is it like a petrified creature? Um, it's it's starting to crumble, right away. Ooh. But it it dead on looks like a cow. Does it have uh, like marks from being carved, or is there anything I could do to like look at it closer to see if you'd it's... have to come down with us? Yeah, what kind of check would it be to figure out if it's yeah. what its situation is? I mean, you could roll nature, I guess. Nature. Rocks are well, nature. I got a zero. I got a four. <laughs> God damn. Oh man, lovely. Are you supposed yeah. to be our druid? <laughs> I am the druid. For some reason, it rolled Mishka. Oh, I've got both of us selected. That doesn't work. Yeah, okay. and it roll it, it okay. rolls in alphabetical order when you select. One yeah, one. it was it was not right. Seventeen's better. Okay. <clears throat> I was like, aren't you supposed to be Mister Nature? Huh? Yeah. I'm wow, a negative three. I've still taken the minus four to wisdom based skill checks. Yeah. <laughs> You're convinced it's the uh, <laughs> Cthulhu we've run into before. Jeez, man! Like wow. that's it. It's right in front of us. See, it's there it's again. been in front of us the whole time. The, the stone <laughs> the cow did it all. <laughs> Pray, stone cow. <clears throat> <laughs> all right, guys. Everybody, give me a perception. Oops. Nobody, nobody knows what's going on here, but. This check is okay. Oh. Muck is good. Fildir is good. Blair is not good. Luke is good. <laughs> oh, Bryce is definitely not good. <laughs> no. He's too focused on the stone Roll cow. Roll initiative, boys. Uh, oh, wonderful. I'm ready to punch this stone cow. I've never been so hyped to punch <clears throat> stone. Okay. That's wow. better. Did I roll it? Oh, I did it again. I roll. Ugh, gross. Girl, you're gonna have to learn how to click on the first. Yeah, click you can we'll you can up. alter oh, your per, your initiative roll in there. Yeah, you like after you roll it, so you can just oh. like you know. Yeah, just put your sixteen the in there. Sorry. Uh, yeah. 
Oh, we can alter them? Okay, I'll just give myself a 20. That's... I think Lyra had a 16. 29 real quick. All yeah, right, so just... before... Hey, we tied on initiative again. Yeah, before we uh, go, who's going first? Lyra or Bryce? Figure it out, guys. Oh, uh, Bryce, do you want to go? Because I got sure. shitty perception. <laughs> I mean, I, I got worse perception than you, but I can... Okay, cool. I can. I can... Yeah. Buff we'll, you we'll before we start. Cool. All right. Lucas first. So Bryce wants to go first. Yep. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Round one, Luca. You feel like they're not alone. Mm. I just don't care. Did I not notice anything with the night? Okay. Hmm. Well, yeah, you know something's there. You don't see anything. I don't see it, though. Yep, you didn't roll high enough, man. Just you know oh. it's there. Okay. So I know there's something there. Mm-hmm. In that case, I am going to... I guess my best option at this point would be to either delay or do that. What would be the better option? Um... I think I'm going to use a action to raise a shield for myself. Okay. And like a real shield or the shield spell? Uh, the shield spell. Shield spell. Yeah, right there. Nice. And you nice. blow up. And uh, then I'll say, uh, you're not all alone. Be weary. Something is there. I just can't see it. Now you could seek. I could seek, and I will try to roll a natural 20 to seek. Okay. Let's see if I get lucky. I don't think an 18 is going to do it. I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm going to um, check for you, though, because I am one of those kind of people that likes to, you know, make sure that things are done correctly. This person is not a perceptive <laughs> character, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The whole party really isn't, to be honest. No. I've got a plus six. Just been rolling lower earlier. <clears throat> so you do indeed see something. Um, you see what appears to be a... Let me see if there's like a description of this thing that I can like read. Because that would be really cool. Uh... You you see something that resembles a gaunt and sickly rooster, but it has bat wings and a serpentile serpentile tail. Uh, it's about two feet tall and twice as long. Hmm. And you, as soon as you look towards it, it begins to kind of like cluck uh, in like a uh, what in like an angry kind of way. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use my last action to point it out to everyone. Okay. There. <clears throat> it's right it's there. Right oh, God, it's right there. It's right there. Oh, Jesus, it's right there. It's in your I'll face. Do. You'll need to punch that or stab it or maul it. And you see Move it up on that rock. It. Oh, not a... Oh. It's a rooster. Yeah, it's a rooster. My, it's just... my furry bear butt. <laughs> Just a rooster with bat wings and a snake tail. Come on, man. Uh, uh, no. Come on, man. Like, come on. <laughs> Everybody, give me a cockadoodle do in the chat if you want someone to die to a <laughs> sick chicken. To a thingamajig. <laughs> yep. Uh, whose turn is it after that? That was three for you, right? One to seek, one yep. to point out, one to shield. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, everybody can see it now. Uh, so that's good. We got that out of the way. Don't want to see it. <laughs> uh, Bryce, you see it. It's right there. I see. I do. I'll uh, start with the good old Inspire Courage. Yeah, and then I'll... I'll I, I'm sure there's a rock around here somewhere. Yeah, so man. Piece of that cow. <clears throat> telekinetically project at it. Okay, you project it. Why you... is it a cow? What's with the cow? Um, Everyone is cheering for us to die. Well, yeah. I, I said are they? Are they? Yes. Yeah. I don't that want it to happen. Good. Oh my gosh. Even even Boy Marshy is. No, I said boo. I don't want boo. it to happen. Uh, boo. V Fergie wants you dead. 
Yeah, oh rude. my god, so does Coleus123. Coleus? You guys are so rude. Coleus F23? I'm blind, dude. I can't tell the difference between a 1 and a... It's a 1. It's a 1? Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> nice. An 11, huh? Yeah. Yeah, the rooster just kind of ducks its head out of the way, man. Yeah. As it flies by, nothing happens. Oh, man, remember that was it one... for you, wasn't it? Yeah, that was it. Remember That's your it. plus ones, people. Yeah, remember your plus ones. You're going to need it. This is yeah. the most difficult combat yet. You could just yell at me in particular. Like, just call me out. <laughs> Lyra! Can I, I mean, yeah. identify yeah. this thing? Uh, I, yeah, I, I guess. It's a... Uh, uh, hmm. It is, uh, you're gonna have to use, I, I wanna say nature, maybe even arcana. Yeah, arcana or nature. I'm calling it for arcana. <laughs> okay. Ooh, 21. 21. This is what's called a cockatrice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, yeah. Uh, they are extremely aggressive, much like, uh, fighting cocks, aka fighting roosters. Uh, you're pretty sure that since you invaded its uh, territory, it will probably follow you to the ends of the earth and fight until slain. And also it can turn you into stone. <laughs> oh, that's just a side note. Do I know <laughs> how it turns people into stone? It, uh, I do believe it just bites them a lot until they turn into stone. Cool. Right, so <laughs> let me, let me, let me see here. <clears throat> A peck from a cockatrice hardens the flesh of the creature struck. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Cool. So don't get pecked, guys. Um, it's out of. I can't like climb up there easily, can I? It's probably difficult terrain. Yeah. I I'm I'm reading how this works. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this thing can. Oh, this could be interesting. Yeah. You guys could wake up in six months and <laughs> just be like, oh, shit, I've been stoned for six months. <laughs> <coughs> All right, so what did you want to do? college. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> I was thinking, can I get up to it, or is that going to be tricky? Uh, you are definitely going to have to make an athletics check. Yeah. Okay, in which case, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to move over to protect Miska, and I'm going to raise my shield. <laughs> not muck, Miska. <laughs> <laughs> Miska. <laughs> <laughs> What's fuck the Muck. <laughs> Save Mishka. Fuck Muck. Mishka's the important one. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. Fuck Muck. That makes oh, me so Muck happy. Will Muck will remember that. Yeah, it's like <laughs> a telltale no, game. I Muck will remember the that. Bear. All right. Well, uh, that's two actions. Did you raise your shield? I think. I think uh, yes, I did. That's three actions. Yes, All right, so yeah. it gets to go. Well, it is mostly mad at the monk because well, the monk what? is the one that moved <laughs> furthest into its territory. Uh, okay. All right, that's Wreck. fine. Wreck. That's fine. It's okay. And so, uh, here comes the twenty-seven to fucking AC. Yeah, it's pretty pretty rough. So it's gonna move. Can it fly? Please tell me it can fly. It better not. It can fly. <laughs> it just keeps getting better and better. It flies to be there. <clears throat> and we're supposed to be level one. Uh, yep. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, severe. this is this is only severe. a... Uh, I don't even think it's a severe encounter. I yeah, think, we're just... yeah, it's severe. It's not extreme, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's severe, right. not extreme. I don't think that's... A, that's a, oh, it's... It is yeah, it's bad. It's bad. Uh, so, uh, it is coming at you with a magical finesse beak. Okay. But it did, it, it, it did have to fly to get there, though. Right? So we can only attack it twice instead of once. Yeah. Or instead of three times. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that is a 28. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that's a crit. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, 18 yeah. Okay, well, let's see if you can handle this massive damage here. No. Uh, a fort take, save you gotta look out for. Yeah. Take 12. Ouch. I mean, it was a crit, guys. Come on. it's 12 damage is not that bad. You say Maybe. that like it's not <laughs> yeah. all my health. <laughs> um, 
Then I need you to make a fortitude save. Right, or you die. Saving. Yeah. Okay, oh, you good. are unaffected. Good. That's this good. <clears throat> Here comes the second hit. Yeah, I'll definitely pex at you again. I don't uh, no. It is going to crow. Oh. That doesn't sound good at all. That sounds bad. In fact. Uh, everyone go ahead and make me a will save. Wait, is this is this a, is this, a this is an auditory effect? It is. Can I counter performance? Is counter performance a reaction? Yes. Sure. So I can roll a performance check. Uh-huh. And you can either use your saving throw or the result of my performance check. This does cool. remove inspired courage. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, yeah. Okay. I crit saved. Uh, so I'll take that. Mm, I'll. I'm gonna, well, you can I'm roll gonna, both. Yeah, you roll. You get to roll both. Oh. This is a. What, what, this is I'll use my own. Yeah, I'm just saying I, I, I crit saved. Yeah, I used my own. <laughs> yeah, I th I'm thinking I'm going to use the will save as well. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Okay, then. We'll see. Okay, I guess I have to use the 14. Haha. -ha. Is that everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody passed. <clears throat> oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> Man, imagine if that 14 saved you. That 14 <laughs> oh, did okay. save him. Yeah, it did. There we go. Good deal. I think that uses my last focus. I'm really glad I saved that focus point. Muck. It's time for you to not suck. Win hey, the battle. Yeah, right? Right? Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> uh, let's see. I got to be within like 30 feet of this thing. So I got to move. I think I think I have to be within 30 feet. What are you doing? Uh, I was going to try and tangle foot it. I'm not I'm not going to go up to it. Yeah, 30 feet. So I got to move. Yeah, your, your backline casters better get up there. And soak some damage. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's wait, why are you guys taking damage? Hold hey, on. Hey, I, I already saved your ass. Don't, don't, mm -hmm. don't even. <laughs> if, if I'm making a magical attack, uh huh. Uh, does Feldir provide cover to the creature? Yeah. If it is a ranged <laughs> attack, then yeah. if you, well, I mean, he's got cover there because of those big ass rocks anyway. So. Well, if I move over here, uh, draw a line no. from your square to its with the thing. We go middle to middle. Yeah, it would provide cover from that square because it goes through fail doors. Okay, so I've got 25 to get to there if I move here. If you move 25. Oh, that's, okay. still, well. that's, that's too far. Okay, so... You can't move that far. Yeah, you can't because that's 30. See, so that's 30 feet from that square. You can move to here. Oh, you're right. My uh, I don't think that would even make a difference. I think uh, not a lot of so, great off. I mean, it's just lesser I, cover, no just a option. minus one. Yeah, all right. Well, I'll do it from here then. I right, roll me an athletics. I need a DC 10 for you to get up on that rock. Oh, yeah? Yep. You should be good um, at athletics. You're strong, right? Yeah, yeah he's an animal, true. Yeah, but would I... I don't know if I would have tried climbing up the rock. Had I known I had to climb up the rock. Well, then don't go. I'm, I'm strong, yeah. but I have an armor that's weighing me down. Yeah. So I'm going to get cover anyway. I'm, I'll just go there to make myself close enough. Okay. I mean, I'm not I'm not going to lose cover. I'm not going to try and do something that's going to make me fall on my ass and not be able to cast the spell anyway. Right. Hmm. I miss anyway. It's yeah. a horrible miss. Yeah. It's a horrible miss. Yeah, uh, it, movement miss and it's, it's ducking yeah. and diving all around those vines, dude. Like a uh, like James Brown on stage, dude. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't even care. Yeah. Um, I think that's everything. Move and two actions cast a spell. Uh, it's it was a uh, was it? I don't think it was two actions. Yeah, it says somatic verbal in the cast. Mm. Oh yeah, it's two actions. So yeah, done. Fell deer. This uh. This this ugly ass rooster has challenged you for supremacy. What are you gonna do? Uh, I there's no escaping it. I guess I'll go into stance. Boom! One blows. action. Boom! Yeah. Flourish. Two actions. Boom! Boom! Does it want to roll? There we go. Oh hey! my goodness! Mm, mm, mm. Oh my Beautiful. goodness! 
I take this thing out. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out, please. Well, the 21 is a hit. Bad. 26 minus 4 becomes a 22, which is a hit. Goes to a critical. Mm. So 10, so 5 and 18 total. Let's see if it's got 23. any... 23. Uh, it does not have any resistance. So 23 damage, huh? Uh-huh. Nice one. <laughs> we, we got a long way to go. <laughs> got a uh, bit to go. What would you like to do for your third action, Mr. Crit? Uh, well, I'm That's definitely not going to try to go for huge, another though. one in a row. Yeah, it was. Yeah. That hey, was if I go huge. down, I go down, and maybe you guys can deal with it. I'll okay, cast shield. Okay. Yeah. That's good. 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 Shield. So hopefully, you won't crit me again. All right, Luca, you're hmm. up. <clears throat> Uh, move to there, cast shield, and that's all I can do be due to positioning. Okay. Bryce. Let me, let me tell you what you see, Bryce. Sure. <laughs> this thing crowed, right? It's like, mm -hmm. and then you were like, nah, fuck that. Back, right? <laughs> and you see it got deadly silent. And, like, barely from around those rocks, you just see that, like, its head comes peeking out from around the rocks. <laughs> oh, no. And it just steals its gaze on you. And it oh, looks no. like it's pissed. Like you've challenged its manhood. <laughs> you've um, challenged the cock. Yep. I'm going to use my first action to, to run like inspire hell? courage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then... you need it. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take my second action to move here, and then I'm going to yell at Lorenzo to protect me. <laughs> All right. Help! I I, nice. I feel yeah. like it was a it was a very high shrill help. Yeah. When you did it, <laughs> I didn't. My, my voice definitely cracked from like the low half work, and then it's like help. Yeah, and, that's, and the that, whole that's time the you're moving, and the whole time you're moving. It's just dead, dead gaze on you. Like, like the the monk is like literally beating the ever living shit out of it, right? And it's just and following just like, you. It's like, no. Oh. All right, Larry, you you're up. Angry. All right, uh, I hear Bryce calling for my help, so uh -huh. I'm gonna go over and stand in front of him, so that I can uh, provide some reactions, and then I'm just gonna um, raise my shield, and I'm just gonna wear my turn. I love uh, how you're all at least 20 feet away from this thing. Oh, yeah. You're, <laughs> you're like, well, you have fun over there. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> do you have any type of a reaction if it moves? No, I do not. It flies past you. Thank God. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. It only needs to get there. It's, it's fly speed is 40. Of course it is. So it, it flies to there. Ah. Uh, I'm going to at least try and reduce the damage. And then yeah. uh, it's, it's crowing, but not like an action crow, right? It's, it's mm. more like it's just making noise. Like aggressive, shrilling crow noises. And it is going to attack you. Of course it is. Yeah. I mean, you deserve this. You called it out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's an 18 on the die. Um, that hits. What is your armor class? Uh, 17. Oh, so it's a critical hit. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. Hey, yeah, that is a 31. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, maybe uh, yes. to raise the shit. Yeah, the well, bard no, with a 22 AC. Yeah. I'm on a 22 AC. Okay, no, okay, I mean, okay, I... okay. Damage. Damage is only I'm... going to be oh, four right. points of damage. Okay. And I reduce it by three with my liberating step, so you only take one point of damage. Oh, so it had Thank to you. crit in order for you to make this, but make a fortitude save. Sure. <laughs> uh, Please make it. 18. Uh, okay. You are slowed one. Um, <laughs> could be worse. Yeah. And it attacks again. That could be a lot worse, and it will be. Oh. I have a 27, even with the minus five. Uh, that's a, that's, that's another crit. That's, that's a crit? crit? Yeah. Oh my god. This is so bad. It's almost like this is a, <laughs> another <laughs> level here. one. Another four points of damage. I but like make how he's a getting... fortitude save. 
He's getting oh, four points of damage 24. on crits. Uh, and I'm, 24. I You're still win. only slowed one. Just, just well, out okay, of curiosity. So just so you know, it, its but, damage is 1d8 minus 2. On you, it rolled an 8. Minus 2 is 6. Times 2 is 12. On him, I rolled yeah. 4 and 4, which minus 2 is 2 and 2, which doubled is 4. There's well, nothing I can fine. do about the dice. Would no, Bryce it's fine. Have the it's whatever. It's cool. To take, would <laughs> Bryce have had the option to take that step? Would that have mattered? Uh, no. Yes, it would have. Oh, yeah. Liberating yes. step. Sorry, yes. yes. You always get a step. Then I, I would have stepped back. Well, uh, Then that attack would have went to somebody else, and I will be using the same numbers. So uh, that was a 27, <laughs> and the only person it could hit would be Lyra. Cool. Well, it's... Oh, yeah, I did raise a shield, so it's not a crit against me. Okay, so then it's two damage, and I need you to make a fort. Yeah. You get your four hit points back, sir. Thank you. Nice. Okay, you're fine. Nice. So I take two. Okay. Down to three hit points, lads. Okay. okay. Oh, so uh, I, I probably didn't go over this. <clears throat> so does everybody watch American football except for maybe our non-Americans? <laughs> I watch American football. I find it more entertaining. Okay. Do you watch American football, Lyra? Alice? <laughs> Never. Okay. <laughs> so in American football, every time they have a play, once another play starts – Everything that happened prior to that play starting is in the no history matter. books forever, <laughs> mm. right? You cannot go back and change it no matter what. Even if there were 37 band members on the field, if they start another play, none, none of that of matters. None of this makes sense to me. Right, okay. so uh, we kind of we kind of <laughs> rewinded there because I hadn't called on another person's turn. If, if I ever go to somebody else's turn, whatever it's happened in the stay. past just keeps going. Okay. Like, yeah. unless, unless it involves character death, at which point – We'll, we'll, we'll make consider sure we follow it? the rules. <laughs> no, we'll make sure we follow the rules. I don't want to kill anybody. We'll think about it. <laughs> with an unknown rule. All right. No no one would watch American football over here. Like, no but one. They, but they have to. Well, Americans where, would. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It, 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 it's they have games in London once a year. For 500 gold coins. I mean, you guys can read that and see uh, see if that, you know, interests you. I don't, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Apparently, he's the DM now. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Apparently. Anyway, Muck, you're up. Let's go there. Oh, Muck's up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he forgot crap. who he was. He thought he was Miska. He's oh, like, I'm Miska. I was, Muck I is the reading, companion. I was reading that chat. Um, crap. I don't want to get close to this thing at 500 all. 500 gold coins, though, man. That's like some level five treasure, or ten or something. Yeah, I have no idea what that means. It's the uh, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, uh, "Oh yeah, I critically failed." Um, <laughs> oh so, shit, I critically you know, failed. The yard. It's not very good oh, at all. Oh, uh, damn. Um, Guys, help them out, man. They need help. Tell them what they should do. I know Come on, biscuits. Uh, I should hit it. I, I hit should it very not. Hard. Well, yeah, I would like to hit it very hard, but then it might hit me very hard. I don't want to be that close to it. Um, True. So I can step, attack, and then step again, right? Yeah, yeah man. I, mean, I step, I attack with my quarterstaff okay. two-handed. Um, I probably don't hit it. You do not. And I step, or step stride. away. Oh, step. Okay. No, I, I, I don't trust that thing. I don't think it has a reaction, but I don't want to attempt it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, fell deer. All right, I'm going to come up here. I believe that's 25 feet. Uh, I, I checked that before. Uh, and do we have the plus ones to everything? Yes. yes. I didn't yeah. use okay. them, but I don't think it mattered. Nah, 16 would have missed. All right, and I'm going to do flurry of blows again. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you? It's two attacks for one action. I mean, I want a flurry okay. of blows. And Ooh. probably neither. Is... 18 and a critical failure, huh? Yeah. You want a crit fish? You want to get the hell out of there? What do you want to do, bud? They both miss. Oh, yeah, they uh, definitely uh, missed. Damn. Mm. Um, I'm going to shield. I like to stay in the combat because then I could do more damage. <laughs> You're protecting me. Thank you. Of course. Right. <laughs> of course. 
Luca. I'm blinded. Of course. Okay. <laughs> it seems Luca. to have closed the distance for you, Luca. Oh, good. It has. I'm going to stride to here. <laughs> <laughs> Bravely. I'm going to Bravely like stride away. Bravely. Dried bit of calamari. I'm going to snap it in half, and from my hands will come grim tendrils. Ooh. What is uh, the range so, on that? Uh, 30 feet. A 30 foot line. Oh, it just misses Feldir. <laughs> it just misses Feldir. It's like I landed or something. That is a lot, uh, man. You rolled good damage on that. So it just needs to make me a fort save. Oh no, not a fort save. What's its fort? It's small. I mean, it's not its best save. Here we go. Just to let you know, it needs a nine or higher. So Roll it rolled a three. Good. It rolled nice. a three. Yes. That's an eleven, uh, so it's not a critical failure. It's still a failure. Takes full damage. And then one persistent bleed. Hmm. Oh, it takes seven negative damage. Well, it's immune to negative damage, so... <laughs> it's, it's not. <laughs> I was like, excuse me? <laughs> oh, the cockatrice is also immune to crits. It's and a bleed, bleed, too, by the way. Mind-affecting effects. Uh, Bryce, oh, it's, no longer, damage. it's no longer eyeballing you. It's now eyeballing Luca. Yeah. Well, uh, maybe, maybe I don't want it to eyeball you. The first thing I'll do is inspire courage. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then I will fling a rock at it. All right. <laughs> the classic. I hope yeah. you critically fail so I can do something cool. <laughs> Kill Felder. <laughs> Ow. So I'm going to hero point. Okay. That's a lot of damage. I would hero point too. Don't critically fail now. <laughs> 25. Oh, nice. That hits. I guess I need to make a ruling. Uh, whenever we hero point spells and it rolls attack and damage together, you have to roll the use the damage that's rolled with the new attack. Okay. That way. What uh, if we just roll a twenty? What do you mean? If you just roll I'm a twenty, saying... then you would roll the damage after. Okay. Then you're, see yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? You didn't roll damage yeah. to begin with. So 10 right, damage. Right. <clears throat> uh, oof. That was rough. He did not like that. Well, he's not focusing on uh, Luca anymore. <laughs> yeah, he is. He definitely is. Fucking hates Luca. Luca attacked his soul. <laughs> <laughs> with tentacles. Yep. Uh, Lyra, yeah, you're up. Can you kill it? Uh, we'll see. I don't do a lot of damage, but we're going to try. Take it uh, that's a crit fail, so I'm going to re-roll that one with my last hero point. All right. That's better. That's much better. 24 hits. Does that have the bonus? Four damage. Uh, that doesn't have the bonus, but I don't think it will uh, change your so five damage. The damage. So it's five damage. Yes, thank you very much. Wait, um, let me tell you something. Yeah. This is This is what happens at four damage. <laughs> at five damage? This is what yeah. happens at five damage. See? See? Uh, this is why Inspire Courage is good. It matters. So, yeah, we have died to bleed. How are you like performing Inspire and Courage, by the way? I'm yelling at you. Great. So <laughs> as I'm just like sticking my dagger and I just hear the yell when I just go a little bit further. And it's, uh, I'm inspired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he fucking dies. We killed the chicken. Well done, guys. Hey! These things can't be natural in this area. Can I make a check to know that? Uh, you can make a nature check, yeah. I can also do that. Oh, no, uh, cockatrice mind. are 100% naturally occurring. So it was just in this area? Yep. It was 100%. Uh, <clears throat> yep. Uh, so cockatrice, uh, they, they peck at stuff. And not to kill it, because once it once it becomes slowed three, which means you have no actions in a turn, uh, it it be, it turns to stone, uh, and then it breaks the stone up and eats the stone, but it only eats stone that it itself has made. So the fact that there is a cow here that is crumbling means, means that it's, it's been, been here, here a while. while. It's an honest working cockatrice. 
Yeah, it was. We you just, just you just walked it. into its territory. Um, you guys oh. do see some additional things here now that you're not scared to death of uh, Super Rooster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we see Stone Cow. <laughs> uh, you see what appears to be a. Uh, once you begin looking around, you see what appears to be a mostly crumbled stone dwarf. Uh, and it is uh, still wearing splint mail armor, hmm. which is heavy armor for those that might wear that. It uh, could be removed. There is also a low-grade cold iron pick, Ooh. which uh, is effective against fey and fairies and stuff like that. Okay. You know, it would have uh, maybe have helped against the men. Well, they're not fey, they're elementals. Maybe not. Uh, and there is also 30 silver pieces. Yay, loot. Mm. We'll do it, CG Rules. Mm. <clears throat> Anyone wear heavy armor? The champion can. can. Uh, no. I, <laughs> no, she won't. I, I have bad strength. <laughs> yeah, I think her strength is 12. I don't know what Splint Mail specifically needs to Probably not higher suck. Than 12. We can look. Splint mail. Needs a 16 strength to not completely yeah. suck. Minus yeah. 3 check penalty, speed penalty minus 10. Oof. Yeah, I'll, I'll avoid that. It is worth 13 gold, so you'd get like 6.5 gold to sell it. This poor dwell, dwarf. Definitely sellable. It's not bad. Weighs 3 bulk. If only we had a weapon dependent party. <laughs> oh, yeah. they don't use weapons like or armor or anything. No, nope. I'll use it a bit. Mm. Yeah, but you use a dagger and the armor you can wear. Yeah. It looks like the it. dwarf was actually here, like picking the rocks, but the cockatrice mm. picked him. So, is he? Is the dwarf? Uh, has it been here a while? Definitely it's looks like, like it's been here. We knew. Yeah, definitely looks like it's been here a while. Okay, I mean. I guess this isn't con- like involved in our caper, but we did make the camp safer at least. <laughs> yeah, no one's gonna wander over here and just die and get turned to stone now. We're like, how oh, long does this slowed one last, by the way? Uh, it doesn't actually say how long that slowed lasts, so it, it tells me how long it lasts. You know, if you become slowed zero, and if you make a save after that, you're slowed one for twenty four hours. I'm. So, uh, slowed, when you regain your action at the start of your turn, reduce the number of actions by your slowed power. You don't lose actions immediately if slowed during your turn. It doesn't say how long it lasts. It makes it seem like it probably lasts an entire day. Hmm. So, like, until I get a full rest and make daily preparations or, or 24 hours? Yeah, we'll do the daily preparations. Otherwise, I've got to, okay. like, keep track of time from, like, five to five and that just sounds weird <clears throat> no one wants to do that that's um, so pathfinder one <laughs> now you guys no. want to do any uh exploration stuff real quick any 10 minute yeah. stuff uh, I refocus do. okay somebody's refocusing um, i i would i mean we initially followed rat tracks over here mm-hmm. i would like to uh see if i can pick up the trail again yeah mm. Luke is going to use their perception to look around. You'll do that. You're doing that. Somebody's refocusing. Uh, Lyra and Felder? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm I'm going to do a little uh, prayer for this dwarf, and I'm going to refocus. Okay. Uh, praying uh, for his uh, soul. <laughs> uh, I lost perception check. Look around. Okay. Uh, so the 21 and 20, you both are able to uh, to ascertain that these tracks, uh, it looks like all the rat tracks kind of like were, were very they were very prominent. Like they were, like you, you both get a sense, especially uh, Muck with uh, your, your kind of like skill with nature, that they led you to this thing. Mm, so the tracks uh, were intentionally laid so that yeah. someone would have to come deal with this cockatrice, maybe, maybe even die to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, someone's got it in for our circus. Someone doesn't like us. It could be so. That's no good at all. 
Uh, so, uh, 10 minutes pass. <clears throat> you get your focus points back, both of you. Are we using focus points? Are we going to refocus again? Are we healing? Yeah, I can... Um, refocus again. Can we do treat wounds? I forget how long that takes. Uh, treat wounds mm -hmm. takes uh, 10 minutes. Uh, but it's, it's been an hour. An hour. Uh, so, Muck can be once treat wounded hour. again. Who Who was also treat wounded back at the bear? Not at the bear now. Not me. Uh, when was the... So, Mishka and... Wait, was Mishka it? And Mark no. And Feldir was... I w no, I was... When was I true wounded? Was it at, at the, the bear? bear? No, at Wait, the uh, elementals. I'll, I'll lay on hands, Felder. No, it was at the snakes. Snakes. Uh, you guys have spent no, an hour combats. from the snakes to here. So okay, you, can, you can just treat wounds everybody right now. Okay. Right. I'll <clears throat> treat wounds muck first. Muck is going to spend the 10 minutes treating wounds... Uh, uh, comforting and uh, bonding with Mishka to refocus. Um, after. Oh, Luke could someone back. help me? <laughs> oh, I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna lay on hands. It's, you. It's so two d eight. Well, two d eight to Muck real quick. Go ahead. Yeah. Fail. Be great. Fail your roll. Yeah, let's go. Want me to do it? <laughs> no, she's got to do it. Oh, oh. oh wow! Oh, good roll. Good. Oh. You, you broke the streak. <laughs> All right, now go ahead and make me a. I know you're refocusing, but go ahead and give me a medicine check on your bear. Okay. Oh, wow. All right, so roll 48 <clears throat> for the bear. It's probably going to go to max. And I'm also going to um, use my other lay on hands on myself. You have two? You have two focus points? Yes, I do. Wow. You only get one back when you refocus. In which case, I do not get both back, so I do no. not do that. So uh, refocus bye bye. is yes, uh, any time that you spend a focus point, you can refocus, and you get one back. Yeah, so, that was my bad. So um, you can I never refocus to get more than one. Yeah. Uh, because you rolled a crit there, go ahead and remove drained one from Mishka. Sweet. And he's, he's happy about max. that. All right, so you I'm lay on hands. <laughs> So I lay on hands minutes. for Feldir okay. to give Feldir six hit points. I'm still at three. Six hit points? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to spend an action to drain my familiar and get a spell slot back. Nice. How long does that take? Ten minutes or an hour? Uh, it's Is that a free action? It yeah. might even be a free action, yeah. Well, it's you... a free action. You can only do that if your next action is to cast a spell. Oh, never mind then. Yeah. But just, you can remember to use that in combat if we have I'll to do it I'll just use it next combat to start. <laughs> so, uh, who can still be medicined? Me. Me. Bryce, Lyra, and Feldir can be medicined. I think two That's of true. you can do medicine checks, right? Do we want to take trained? another? Yeah, Mux. Mux just another 10 tools. minutes. Okay. Yeah, another 10 minutes. Um, so I'll so. go on Feldir. Mm -hmm. All right. And Bryce... Who who got battle medicine? The bear? Yeah. The bear. Yeah, some time ago. Well, battle medicine's once a day. It's once a day, yeah. 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 <clears throat> I was not yeah, battle I medicine. I had battle today, medicine Bryce Muck in the bear today, I believe. Oh, you did battle medicine me? Yes, last session. Oh, oh. yeah. Huh? When? I don't know. Oh, during the uh, plant attack. During the event? Or... Ah, yes, yes, that's right, that's correct. All right, so two, who, who's healing who and roll your 2d8? I'm healing Feldir. Okay, so two D eight from Lyra to Feldir. Is it like a medicine train? Are you medicining Lyra while she medicines uh, Feldir? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Stop moving around so much. Like I'm trying to around. help you. <laughs> well, Thirteen, 13 to Feldir and nine wow. to Lyra. Okay. That's full nice. health for me. Thank you. Thank wow, you. A max and a, a max and a worst. It's perfectly average. Hey, <laughs> it is perfectly average. I'll take Love it. to hear it. Yeah, that's much better. Oh no, Goblin Cave's leaving. Bye, Goblin Cave. Goodbye, Thanks Goblin for stopping Cave. in. <clears throat> Good night. He stops in uh, all the time. I like it. Hmm. I like it. He always he always raids us on Sundays. It's really uh it's really great. Mm -hmm. All right. So the only person that can still be medicined is Bryce. Are we medicining him too? How are you, Bryce? Uh, I'm a bit worse for wear. I mean, if you have extra healing, I'll yeah, certainly no, sure. take it. Yeah, no, sure. I'll go ahead. 
and I watch You could have Muck do it and you could refocus. Those poor ten people have been uh, stuck could, out. Yeah. <laughs> if stuck you want to, like I know hours. that you don't want to. It is getting dusky though, so it's getting kind of kind of darkish. Yeah. Muck, I think she wants you to uh, medicine yeah, Bryce so she can refocus. Yeah, okay. Now yeah. the two D eight. Probably fill him up here. Unless you roll two nine. Perfect. Completely Perfect. average. Completely so, average. Muck's just average darkest, in all regards. <laughs> as the darkest it starts to come out of it, yeah. Um, it's about. Right. It's about six years now. Uh, you um, um, prays to Nocticular, and she prays for the protection of all of the um, the circus folk, and thanks her for the strength that she gives her in order to help with that. Speaking of the circus folk, you uh, yeah. probably the last you know couple of minutes, you think you hear music, and then you definitely hear music. Um, and Go back to the tent. It's, it seems to be coming from the fireplace over by the circus master's wagon. Oh, God. Oh. Good thing I refocused. Yeah. This isn't going to be good. If it was coming from the tent, Let's go see like, what's oh. going on. Yes. I will lead the party again, because... Yeah. The sound of pipes, fiddles, and horns echo across the camp from the meeting fire, where members of the Circus of the Wayward Wonders have been waiting for a proclamation that it's safe for them to return to their wagons but now everyone has formed two concentric rings with the musicians on the inside and everyone else dancing on the outside their energetic prancing seems incongruous with the weariness on their faces you see the professor and he's panting and he looks like he's just about to pass out from exertion and he's like help us I and his limbs are jerking to the music um, i recognize like what song is going on <laughs> Sure. Go ahead and uh, roll me. We'll perform? No, 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 not performance. That that's making music. Identifying music. Uh, do you have like a uh, a lore that will help you with this? Otherwise, I'm thinking society. I have, Although I have, I have I have both. Well, I have society. I have crowd or, lore. I don't know if that helps. You have what? Crowd, crowd lore. lore. Crowd, crowd lore. Mm, no. Yeah. Uh, you could also roll nature. I don't have nature, so I'll roll society. Anybody can roll nature or society or any type of music. Nat 20. I'll <laughs> take that. <clears throat> so here is what you see. And here is what you know. And I don't know it, so. I'll just assume <laughs> I fail. I'm not going <laughs> to put the tokens of uh, all the uh, performers, all the circus people out. But you see these two little things. And they're, they're dancing on dinner plates. <clears throat> and I'm going to hold a book up to show you a bigger picture because that's the one from the best You year. can click on them and then shift Z. Does that work? Yeah, but I, I don't... It'll show us the token. It won't show us... Yeah. Uh, right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, right. I don't think it'll show what I want to show you. Oh, shift Z? Yeah. I mean, that's what their face looks like. <clears throat> That's that's the token, so... Yeah, yeah. That, that's the face. The face! Uh, into the camera, I will find this page, and you will be like, oh. And they look a lot like that. And they're very tiny. They're like uh, little crickets. Cricket centaurs. Aw, that's adorable. It's Jiminy and his girl. <laughs> got like, cold iron pick? Let's go to town. Yeah, yeah. he's got the cold iron pick. <laughs> and, I love uh, it. With that said, uh, they they don't look they don't look like mad or hostile. You think they think everybody's having a good time. Mm -hmm. They don't understand. Mm -hmm. Can I? I want to I want to talk to them. I'm not going to yeah. shout at them because yeah, I mean I'd like I don't to, know, to play with them. I'd like to wade my way into the center here. Okay. Uh, so you want to wade yourself into the center. The first thing I need you to do is, are you forcing yourself past the dancers, or are you uh, dance using finesse? Them. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to dance Can past I? them. Yeah, I'd like to dance, <laughs> like, try yeah. to follow suit. All right, so if, you, can, you can dance through with either a performance or a society or a relevant lore check. I would allow Clown War to help you get through this. Clown War, you, you seem to performance. I, I will also join in then, if that's the case. Though my clown isn't great. <laughs> not great. Well, it's not bad. The DC was 13. 
Who did oh, not nice. go in? Uh, Luca is not Look. very competent in Look. his dancing abilities, so he's going to uh, stand there and just kind of be like, hey, everyone, this is getting <laughs> solved. Okay. <laughs> um, once you get there, you see that one is female and one is male. And you see that the the male continues to play, and the female looks. Her eyes are big and bright. She smiles. She's like, ah, oh, welcome, more dancers. Yay! They're having uh, so much fun. I see. Uh, who, yes. Oh, sorry. Do any of you have an instrument? I do. What is it? Uh, recorder. Play with us. Play with oh, us. And then go ahead, Alice. Uh. Yes, uh, we are having fun, and uh, what is great about that is we are willing dancers. I think what you might find is that some people here are not so willing, and it might be nice to let them have a rest so they can dance better. Okay. So, <clears throat> here, a couple things can happen. You said the yeah. wrong thing. <laughs> you can, you can, stops. You can try diplomacy because they're not yeah. hostile. Uh, you could even try to coerce them with intimidation because you could just scare them away. They're pretty small. But, Matthew, you think that you might be able to play your recorder so well that you can join the festivities and then maybe drive the song to a natural ending. Interesting. I'll try that. Do you want to go for it? Now... Yeah. Here's the thing. You can do the diplomacy or the intimidation as a single check. The performance check that you have to make is an extended kind of thing. So what would that imply? Uh, well, you're going to make performance checks, and you probably don't want to fail any of them. There's definitely <laughs> going to be more than one. I can't say how many, because it depends. You need to get so many. It, it's kind of like whenever you I'll, enter this. Whenever I'll, you... I'll take care of this. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to them. So mechanically... When you enter kind of a situation like this, uh, there's mm -hmm. like points that you need to get, right? Like say I decide you need five points, right? Sure. If you get a success, that's a point. If you get a critical success, that would be two points. Two if points. you get a failure, you get no points. And a critical failure, you would lose points. Right. And if you ever lose more points than you have, then it just, ab it just absolutely <laughs> fails. <clears throat> and then bad things happen. Like This is so, – sorry, yeah. Yeah, you could, you could, you could musically move this to combat if you fail so badly that they're just like insulted, like you're I making a, a mockery point. of the dance. You're making a mockery of the dance. So I, I'll, I'd like to take the lead on this one just because I have a buffer. This is a totally kind of meta game, you would. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to them. I'll be like, all right, in a very calm manner, not, not, not my normal barker self. Be like, hey, um. Excuse me, uh, as much as we all love your singing and music right now, uh, these we already per put on a performance today in, in the circus, and we're all very, very tired. So you're so, trying a diplomacy, or are you going to join the song? I'm going to use a diplomacy first. Okay. I feel like... Uh, mm. I mean, it's his, his call. It's your choice, your choice. I mean, you know, whatever you guys want to do. 24. Okay. So, they, they kind of abruptly stop, and they're like, <sighs> they just kind of stop, they're standing on their dinner plates, and they're like, so rude, and the, the male is like, very rude, and they kind of like both turn their backs on you and kind of flitter their wings and kind of flitter off. Well... Hopefully they have a uh, short grudges. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Is anyone uh, stop dancing? Yeah. I suppose the immediate danger. What happened? It looks like they were all magically compelled to dance with them due to their music, but <clears throat> as soon as I coerced them to stop, well, not coerced, but Ask requested them. that they stop, then, mm -hmm. well, it looks like they stopped. Oh. Okay. Very I don't well. think anyone's harmed. Is anyone harmed? Doesn't look like anyone has suffered any damage. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, uh, the, the professor's like panting and he's like, oh, thank you, oh my god. They've had us here for, for a few minutes just dancing. Or, I mean, they didn't hurt anybody, but... Yes. 
strange creatures in this world. It's, uh, I don't think all of them get it. It's been a really busy day. It's it been hard. That's for yes. certain. Yes, it certainly has. We been. all almost died. <laughs> We well, believe that Luca was fine. Yeah, Luca. <laughs> you see one of the uh, cannoli family, you know, there that they have like children. Uh, one of them's like, "Hey, what's this?" Oh god! And you know, is uh, holding this crystal. Oh, uh, what uh, is it? Uh, <laughs> it looks... Tech magic for Edora. Oh yeah, it's definitely <laughs> it's definitely magical. They hand it to you. Uh, it is a potency crystal. Ooh, Ooh. snap! Mm. Now, does anybody know what a potency crystal is before I read it? Nope. Nobody knows Your anything. Magical? I know. Helps your weapon. Can't remember. Head, but... It is a talisman that must be affixed to a weapon. As a free action, you can use it, and uh, then you make an attack. And for that one attack, it treats the weapon as if it's a plus one striking weapon. Oh, for the rest of the turn, even. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So it gives it's you a, a plus one to attack and yep. uh, doubles the die damage. I do believe the only person that legitimately regularly uses a weapon is Lyra. Yes. Yeah. Lyra he has a quarter yeah. staff. <laughs> your weapon for you. I would Maybe imagine we'd want to give it to the biggest weapon we have, though. I, I do have my scarf damage. as well. Not whichever you prefer. It's my scarf has higher hit dice. I mean, we could always just slam it into my fist. <laughs> Cut my skin open, slide it right in there. I really wish I could, to be honest with you. Oh, <laughs> we need to get you some hand Never wraps. mind, that was a joke, wraps. but you kind of took it in a dark direction. I'm not sure if I like this anymore. <laughs> we really need to get you some hand wraps. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, I wasn't really expecting to get into so many fights today. I don't think any of us were. Exactly. Especially considering we already put on a show that we, yes. you know, kind of had to ad lib. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so, yes, yeah. Um, the potency. We tell the professor, or I imagine, yes, we believe that we have cleared out the entire campsite. We come across some clues as to the, uh, that there might be sabotage. Some sabotage, you say? Many of the places we visited had a, uh, a uh, what, were, what were they? Rat, rat tracks. Yes. Uh, yes. It's coming out but disappearing. We ran into a few uh, uh, water methods that uh, had a bag with the map. Uh, and he pulls it out and he's like, and you could see that for yourself. That it is a bit uh, uncomfortable. And. The tracks eventually led us directly into a cockatrice that was nearby. Somebody has been tracking our movements. Yes. Everybody's movements. Everybody's. Very precisely. Someone small. We don't know who. Well, we don't have anybody small in the... No. It's an outsider. No. I. Really Except don't. for... Except for. You said except for. Did I? I, I didn't. Not no. you, the GM. Yeah, well, uh, find the name. <laughs> <laughs> except for Chubby. Uh, who's, who's oh, yeah, Chubby? Chubby. Who's Chubby. <laughs> there's, this, uh, there's this beagle. And the beagle is uh, rather chunk. <laughs> so it would count as a small creature <laughs> <clears throat> and you know the, the beagle comes walking around the professor and he's like ah how do you do friends it, the beagle, <laughs> the beagle <laughs> speak, speak. No, it's yeah not. it's a talking beagle yeah it's a talking beagle okay, okay well, great. then he sits down and he's just <laughs> looking looking at you guys wagging his tail Ch oh, Ch Ch chubby have you smelt anything weird he, he starts sniffing he's really old and he's like, yeah. <laughs> like maybe somebody around who shouldn't be. I, I smell, and as he gets ready to talk, he kind of goes silent. And the rustling of leaves can be heard as hundreds of red-eyed rats scurry mm. about the foliage. Mm. No, the rats coalesce and surround a halfling woman who steps out of the bushes, wearing a oh, headdress cool. in the shape of a rat's head, its open mouth framing her face. <laughs> Isn't this a pretty sight? 
She cackles, twisting her grip on a gnarled staff. I had hoped to murder more of you while the whole town was watching. That would have frightened them away from here for good. But a bigger slaughter might be an even better way. The foolish farmers and poisoners of Aberton, they will discover your rat-chewed corpses. No one will know how it happened. But everyone will whisper that nature is taking its revenge. And it is, through me. I'll wager most of the town will be gone in a week, and the rest will fall easily enough. Then perhaps the land can heal from the cancer known as Aberton. You, you seem to have a problem. That, that, that was a bit much, wasn't it? You kind of gave us your whole evil monologue. And there's I didn't a think picture you'd actually of her. Do it. Like good old block text. I, I, didn't think you would, I didn't think that was actually a thing that people did. <laughs> and and we'll be back next week to see what happens. Whoa! Whoa. Dodge to the rat lady. Angry little halfling and a rat. Yep. Yeah. We will I'm definitely just, cover that next week. Spied on us. Hey man, next week you got to tune in. It means you got to show up. I'll be sure to be on time this time. I promise. Oh. So I <laughs> That'll don't be helpful because this important. seems to be a boss battle. Yeah. <laughs> So hey, we finally get to level up. <laughs> Not we? yet. After the boss battle. After, After the, the boss, boss battle. battle. Maybe. Have Maybe. you accrued enough experience? We're using experience, not milestones. Oh, well, I don't know. We, we don't know what we got Well, we this, almost so. fought everything. <laughs> did you? But did you we're do it right? Like, did we're you halfway do it? there from yeah, last place. Yeah, you were like a trap and everything. Uh, yeah, man, I mean, I, I, I got to figure it out. I'm going to be figuring it out as soon as we go offline. But I want to thank all the biscuits for showing up. Uh, we appreciate it. Our, we do have an interview with a, uh, a member of Onyx Path Publishing staff tomorrow, if my dates are correct. Uh, I know Corinne was uh, passing out the graphics for that today, so I'm assuming that that is going to happen. So you can uh, look forward to seeing that if you're interested in Trinity or uh, what else do they do? They do a bunch of the Vampire, the Masquerade, Vampire Chronicles, um, that kind of stuff. Uh, they've got a new game. Uh, Changeling just came out, second edition rules. Uh, Mummy, the curse came out, second edition rules. I don't know. I think they're going to be covering um, safety in gaming, maybe, which is a big deal for both uh, any of the Onyx Path publishing stuff and Paizo's Pathfinder second edition is real big into uh, gaming safety. That's inclusion of people, you know, how to handle social situations that you might not normally interact with uh in everyday life at your gaming table that kind of thing so we definitely are very proud of that interview uh the next time that we will be streaming a game will be friday i believe which will you'll get to see gm cody as bad as he is even though we love him <laughs> uh doing monster of the week and then obviously on saturday and sunday of next week uh provided everything works out for my travel because i'm traveling this week i should be back in time to do both age of ashes as a player and this particular game here mm -hmm. as the Game Master, and if I can't Wonderful. be, then you'll have to wait two weeks to see what happens with the halfling wearing the rat head skull thing. Angry Chubby's halfling gonna lady. save us all. Uh, does anybody have anything <laughs> that they would like to plug? Uh, uh, I, I know Matthew has a Twitch channel that he plays games on, is that right? Yes, yes. I am playing War Thunder, t I'm streaming War Thunder tomorrow night. I am now officially a partnered content creator with the game itself, so that's oh. exciting. Oh. Anybody else? Not this. Philip, are you streaming yet or are you just playing? I, I don't stream. Uh, I have a buddy who uh, puts uh, records all of our sessions. We, uh, we play Starfinder every other weekend. He puts his sessions up on YouTube. Um, let me see if I can find his link real quick. If anyone wants to go and uh, watch those, um, I should be able to find it fairly quickly. Um, Michael Mon is his name, M O N N. If you wanted to uh, just uh, <clears throat> just just search it under YouTube, you should be able to find it. Um, Don't make me Jaren too. Yeah, I can't there do goes. it all, man. What does that even mean? She'll have to step in for you. Is, uh, oh, she can't step in for me. I I stream. Nobody else in that yeah. game can stream. So. <laughs> 
if, if I miss, we're just whoop, me and Cody have to appear on Age of Ashes. Like you will never see just one of. Well, maybe Bevan could stream, maybe. But it, man, that would oh, be, it looks uh, like looks like he has all his all of his videos as private or something. I'll have to talk to him about that because I'm not seeing anything on his. Uh, uh, he his doesn't YouTube. want he doesn't want subs, man. Uh, you can go to uh, um, YouTube, roll the roll, and you can see all of our our past stuff that we've we've begin putting there. Uh, we we are currently fighting Disney uh, for the rights to our our own our own content though because uh, uh, the mouse thinks that it owns everything. Um, <laughs> so with that said man thanks for uh, tuning in remember that uh, we are sponsored uh, and partnered with roll 20 uh, that's roll 20.net check them out they uh man i've played on a lot of vtt's and i i find this one the easiest one to work with it's got the most customization uh like anybody can create massive apis that do amazing stuff they're not like i mean the auras are there you can have combat trackers uh, like I think you can set this thing to like I don't know move your pieces for you and everything. It's it's amazing. I don't go that too deep, but uh, that's yeah, how we it's roll. It's all community. It's that's, all community generated. So yep, that's how they roll. That's how we roll. And anyway, thanks for coming, guys. We appreciate mm -hmm. it. We will see you next week.